Atlanta, you're the visiting team. This side, the helmet is a head. The, lo the logo is a tail. By the way, I told Jesse the logo to call is heads. A tail. Who's going to make the call? Tails is called. Tails is called. It is a tail. You've won the toss. You want the ball. Which end do you want to kick from? Atlanta won the toss and elect to receive. So we'll see the right Falcon there. offense first. Which way do you want Bill Carolla administrating the coin toss here. And I'm a little surprised, Arch. I think on a day like this, sometimes you look at wind, at least, and consider it, don't you? Well, I think the Falcons wanted to shorten the football game, and that means getting on your field and running the get, run the ball. That runs the clock. I think it's the perfect scenario for Philly, though. I think they wanted their defense on the field first. Tell me what we're looking for early, Chuck. Rich McKay talked about a big play from the Eagles, maybe, well, to get the yeah. crowd behind him. Atlanta used that very well last Saturday night to Dome. Yeah, what you got to watch out on this first drive is particularly Donovan McNabb using his legs. He realizes the com he's not as silly. I mean, he's not stupid. Right now in these conditions, he's got to make some plays with his legs, and that's what the Falcons got to watch out for early. And play action pass, trying to go deep. They got to watch that to try to get this crowd really into it. Want to count the box early, Art? See how many Philadelphia puts in there defensively? I, they're going to gang the line of scrimmage, Wes, and the only problem they have now is there's nobody at the second level. We've heard talked about it all week long. If this Falcon speed cracks the first level, they're going to be gone. Philadelphia playing with a lot of momentum, and yet a lot of issues. And I mean issues like losses to Carolina, losses to Tampa Bay, and losses to St. Louis in the last three NFC title crowns. West, they are desperate here in Philly. They're, it's one, their thing is one team, and this whole city identity is, is rallying behind this today. I mean, well, it's, it's unbelievable, man. You can't hardly articulate it. it. Our Atlanta listeners, believe me, these fans are as desperate as you've ever seen. They're trying to go to the Super Bowl for the first time since Ron Jaworski and Wilbert Montgomery carried them to the Louisiana Superdome where Rod Martin and Kenny King stole the show for Tom Flores. Yes, they did. The Raiders took care of them in that Super Bowl. It's that been was, a long dry spell. That was January 25th, 1981. Was Jaworski the quarterback? Yes, yes. he was. Man. And Durham's 15th birthday, if you're counting. It's a good time, man. That's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All I can remember, and I'm sure Eagle fans have the nightmare of Kenny King streaking down the sideline. Side yes, sir. Well, Atlanta sends Allen Rossum deep. Last week, four returns for a 20-yard average. 21.6 during the regular season, of course. He actually had a touchdown 92 yards against Philadelphia. November of 2003. This is one of their weaker areas as far as the Eagles, their coverage teams on kickoff. 26 to 23.2 allowed. Akers drills it toward Rossum. He'll back up. We're underway. Two yards deep. He's going to bring it out. 5, 10, 15, and Rossum to just shy of the 20-yard line. First down and 10. Tackle made downfield by Dahani Jones, the starting linebacker from Michigan. So here are the Falcons and Michael Vick. Opening possession of the ball game. They need to establish a presence here. They don't necessarily have to score, but they need to start working on the field position, make some yards. Crowd's going to be loud. Falcons worked with noise all week in their practices. Algie Crumper, the tight end. Des White, Peerless Price go to the right. Vic's going to start in the shotgun with Warwick Dunn. Almost eight in a box for Philadelphia. Silent count, snap to Vic, moves the pocket to his right. He'll set, now he'll tuck it away and run and out of bounds at the far side. Keith Adams, 5'11", 225 pound linebacker from Clemson, takes him out of bounds at the 22, it's second and eight. Design sprint out for Vic out of the shotgun. Michael waited too long. He should have taken off the football, had a lot of room to run, was trying to work the passing game down the sideline. This crowd at Lincoln Financial Field's been given white towels and they're being waved as Atlanta breaks the huddle. Two receivers to the right. In motion comes Price here to the near side. McCrary and Dunn offset. Here's Vic, second and eight. Give will be to Dunn and he will dig out a yard maybe to the 23. Tackle made in the middle by Adams and Corey Simon. 
And we get a little pushing and shoving with Dahani Jones after the play. It'll be third and seven. Something to watch for as we'll keep an eye on what Michael Vick's looking for. Nobody was responsible for the bootleg on the play. And Michael pulled it. He had a lot of room to run. Atlanta hit 36% of their third downs. 18th in the NFL. Philadelphia allowed nearly 36% conversion rate. 12th in the NFL. They were Minnesota was 7 of 17 last week. Vic will be in a shotgun here on third and seven, and this house is rocking. And Vic wants a timeout. He'll turn to Bill Carolla and ask for the timeout, and we'll take it with him here in Philadelphia. So Atlanta uses one of their first half timeouts with just a minute and 17 seconds gone in the ball game. Stay tuned. Back for third and seven. You're listening to the NFC title into a 15 and yeah. one buzzsaw. Philadelphia is standing on the curb. Talking all sorts of trash here yeah, early. Trying to take the Falcons out of their game. The Falcons have to manage it early. It's going to be rowdy in here. They got to weather the storm and then keep playing football, like Dave said earlier. Third down and seven for Atlanta at its 23, opening possession of the game. Crumpler comes here to the near side with Finneran. Vick will work from his shotgun. McCrary to the right, Dunn to his left. Curse on the near side at the right end spot. Vick loads. Sets. Now he's going to scramble out. He'll turn to the corner, spin back, and get to the 25. Dawkins slowed him down, and then Jones polished him off. So Atlanta comes up on fourth and five, and they're three downs and out on their opening possession. Now Mike had good protection that time, and Algie Crumpler working the slot area had hooked up over the ball and was open, but Michael lost his patience with the protection and took off. Dexter Wynn only averaged three and a half yards on two returns against Minnesota. Chris Moore to punt. Last week, two punts for a 42-yard average at the Georgia Dome. No score. We're early. 13-04 to play first quarter. Moore gets it away. It is a low kick. And it will hit at the midfield stripe and take an Atlanta bounce toward the Philadelphia 40-yard line. And that's where it'll be touched up by Brian Finner. Timeout on the field in Philly. No score here early. 12.51 to play, 35-yard punt by Moore, no return. Our coverage continues after this. You're listening to the, the NFC time. Atlanta, Atlanta had the football. Dave, we talked during the break here. If Atlanta can get pressure with five and not six, that's huge early, don't you think? I really is. I think they have to keep people staring at Donovan McNabb in case he decides to take off. McNabb works from under center. Perry Westbrook behind him. Mitchell to the near side. Pinkston far side, first down, McNabb's going to throw. Loads, throws, caught, Pinkston, first down, Atlanta territory at the 49. 11-yard gain, angled out by Jason Webster. It's a simple play action fake, come out of the fake, and Pinkston runs a real good out route to the wide side of the field, and no doubt about Donovan McNabb being able to get the ball there. It was a strike right on the money. Westbrook comes to the slot here at the near side. Mitchell to the left, Pinkston wide here to the near side. Lone setback was Levens. Here comes the pressure. McNabb will tuck and run. Got away from Coleman. Marker thrown. And McNabb brought down shy of the 40-yard line. Looked like Brady Smith from behind, but hold the phone on the marker. Smith, the tight end, was holding, looks like to me, downfield. Chad Smith? Yeah. Or L.J. Smith, LJ Chad Smith. Lewis. It looked yeah. like it can. It's got to be a defensive oh, hold, defensive isn't it? Hold. McNabb got almost eight on the play. Holding 91 defense. Five-yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. McNabb got eight and five for the penalty. A lot of the talk coming into this game was about Michael Vick running the football. Donovan McNabb is going to run the ball. Donovan McNabb rushed for over 100 yards last year against Green Bay in a divisional playoff game. Ball to the Atlanta 35, just outside the 35, first and 10. Here's McNabb from under center now, change into play. Atlanta adjusts. Give us to Westbrook, cuts back inside and nothing. Matt Stewart finally makes a stop. Brooking slowed Westbrook down behind the line. And Brian Westbrook, little guy from off the main line at Villanova, gets nothing on first down. Nice job by Patrick Kearney. Westbrook had 70 on the ground last week, but that's the key, slowing him down, letting your pursuit get to him. They try to cut it back to Pat's side. He, he makes the play, but the play before that, West, if the blitz gets there, Pat gets there, they just got to get McNabb down in the pocket. They had that play. Both tight ends now, Lewis and L.J. Smith in the game. Dorsey Levens has also come in, and now Philadelphia has got 
issues with nine on the play clock. McNabb's got to burn a timeout. Play clock down to five, and they're having a hard time deciding whether they want Smith or Pinkston or Lewis in the ball game. Timeout taken by Philadelphia. No score to be second and 10 for the Eagles at the Atlanta 35. 11.22 to go. Opening period of play at Lincoln Financial Field and no score. You listen to the NFC. Championship first period of play. No score yet with the Eagles and Falcons. Donovan McNabb burning a timeout on second and 10 at the Atlanta 35-yard line. Philadelphia's opening possession. Play action. Here comes the blitz. They loop it out in the flat. It is caught by... The fullback Perry, but he is brought down at the 32 yard line by Keith Brooking. Nice job by Brian Scott showing that blitz late coming up and beating him and Keith, Chris Draft beating the fullback inside. Good job putting making McNabb throw a little quicker than he wants to. Third and third and seven at the 32. And Brooking did a good job of they tried to screen him with Freddie Mitchell. Freddie Mitchell comes inside and tries to screen Brooking off. And Brooking fought through the screen to make the play. Eagles 37% on third down, five of eleven last week. McNabb at a shotgun with four receivers, tight end to the right. Here's Donovan in the pocket. Throws back across the middle, overshoots his intended receiver, the tight end, Chad Lewis. Incomplete right down the seam. And now what do you do, Andy Reid? Well, to start off, good job by Patrick Kearney getting up in John Runyon's chest, knocking him in and making Donovan McNabb break his rhythm a little bit. Yeah, that ball slipped out. I can see Donovan pounding his chest. The ball slipped out of his hand. David, That's what happens, too, in a cold day. Yeah. Hard to grip the football. David Akers, who is 17 of 21 from 40 yards this year, 83% in his career. He had two field goals of 21 and 23 last week. Tries this from 50. No, it's a fake. They shoveled it inside, and it's spread out by D'Angelo Hall. They shoveled inside to Chad Lewis, and he's brought down by D'Angelo Hall at the 30. A little trickeration by the boys in green early. And I don't know how tricky it was, Wes, and the fact that there's a 50-yard field goal and both these coaches were on the field watching their kickers and nobody came close to making one from that range. So credit Joe DiCamillis having his people ready. But what this, I'm sorry, Wes. Go ahead, Chuck. But what this does, Wes, it keeps that momentum going. It helps the Falcons. The confidence keeps building in the stadium. 10.33 to go first quarter. Atlanta's second possession starts from its 30-yard line. First down and 10. Michael Vick and company were three and out in their first possession. Offset eye here to the near side. Falcons move from right to left in period one. Here's Vic giving to Dunn. He'll cut the left side through to the second stage, as Archer tells you, and he rips out to the 39. It's a gain of nine on the play. Corey Simon comes off the line from tackle to make the stop on Warwick Dunn. Eagles are being very wary about trying to get too many people on that first level. You talked about it, Wes that they kept their linebackers back. But Corey Simon, the defensive tackle, had to make the tackle after a nine-yard pickup. Dave, they're setting up for play action here, it looks like, aren't gotta they? Got to be. Yes, they got to. Second down and two at the 38. Seven in the box for Philadelphia. In motion comes White from the right. Here's Vic handing to Dunn. He'll have the first down as he breaks the plane of the 40 to the 41-yard line. Tackle made by Jeremiah Trotter, the former lumberjack from Stephen F. Austin. I made this point last week about Javon Curtis. Is he going to be ready to play in this weather? Pass rushes of, of just quickness and speed, struggle in this kind of weather. He looked a little stiff. He had a chance to tackle Ward Dunn. Ward cuts inside. He was wide open for the tackle, Wes. Good job by Ward Dunn on these last two runs. Falcons have a first down at the 41. Price goes to the right, white to the left. Kevin Schaefer's come back in at left tackle. Steve Herndon was in there for a play. Here's Price. In motion, Vic, play action, fake. Michael sets, throws. Des White, the intended receiver, and a marker's coming down on the incomplete pass against Sheldon Brown in coverage at the Philadelphia 41-yard line. No question about it. No question about it. Sheldon Brown came through Des White before the ball got there. Good fakes by Vic, faked into the line. Pass to the first, 24, defense. Play to the back of the receiver. Automatic first down. Spot of the foul. You can imagine how that is greeted here in Philadelphia. Faked in the line, faked the reverse, and then got the ball out on time. Good pass protection up front. Wind is whipping around, blowing snow off the roof of this facility. Heck, even back here on your <laughs> personable and affable radio crew. <laughs> first and 10 at the 41. Vic from under center with an eye. In motion goes Crumpler. Flops back to the left. Eagles show blitz. Michael on a long count, 
First down give done. He will dig and keep the legs moving, but end up with nothing. Tackle made by Trotter in the middle of the Philadelphia line. He also had some help from Michael Lewis, who came up from strong safety. That's we said at the top, there are going to be a couple plays today where Atlanta's going to get stoned in the run game. Because they're, they're telegraphing that blitz already, Dave. Well, that's what they want to do. They're trying to time up the snap. That's going yeah. to be on Todd McClure with a silent count. But that's the first time they've committed all three linebackers on the blitz. McCrary, Dunn, and an eye. Crumpler and Beverly both to the right side. Leaving just Des White or Brian Fenner in here to the left. Out of the backfield, that's Fred McCrary. He'll catch and step out of bounds. Angled out by Keith Adams at the 37-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, make it third down and six there. Into the Eagle bench area. Went McCrary on a catch out of the backfield from Michael Vick. A lot of wolf tickets being sold. A lot of smack talking by Dehani <laughs> Jones out there. I like how quickly the ball came out of Mike's hands after the play fake. That's keeping him honest. They got to defend the flats against the play action and stop the run. Tough proposition. Third down and six. Atlanta 0 for 1 on third down. White will go to the right. Peerless Price to the left. Crumpler off the formation to the right, and Price headed in motion to the wide side. Vick and a shotgun snap to him. He'll work to his right. Now he'll set. Tuck it away. Backs up. Going to throw the deep ball. It's hanging up in the air, and Crumpler almost made a catch of it as he collided with four green shirts at the Philadelphia 18-yard line. Brian Dawkins was the guy who came up with Sheldon Brown, instrumental in causing the incomplete pass. Well, the time was there. Mike had it at the time, but uh, the Eagles did a good job dropping everybody in that zone. Atlanta runs six plays and will punt in their second possession, and here's Chris Moore again standing at midfield. Dexter Wynn waits at the 10 of Philadelphia. 7.34 to go, first period, no score at the, the link in Philadelphia. Snap to Moore. Hangs up in the wind. It'll hit, take a eagle bounce, and be down by Atlanta, shy of the 30-yard line. Just outside the 29. It was Derek Rackley who got a hand up there. It's an eight-yard punt into a gale by Moore. Timeout on the field, 7.25 to go. In the opening period, no score in Philadelphia. You're listening to the NFC title game. If what you want is inside access to the National Football League 24 hours a day, then the NFL Network is what you need. Call your cable or satellite provider and get the NFL Network. 7.25 to go first period. Philadelphia gets ready to start their second possession of this ball game. First and 10 from its 30-yard line. Westbrook, Mitchell to the left. Pinkston here to the right. Dorsey Levins alone set back. Here's McNabb, play action 11s, rolls back into the center of the pocket, throwing downfield and incomplete off the hand of Westbrook with Christian Morton defending. What a task for the young Morton in coverage for Atlanta. Well, if they went as they went to their nickel package because Westbrook and Dorsey Levens were in the game at the same time. They realized they want to throw the football out of that formation, so they come with their nickel package. Christian Morton is part of that solution. Josh Perry's come back in at fullback. Too much time on that play, though. Westbrook split backfield with Perry. Mitchell near side, Pinkston to the left on second and 10. Here's McNabb giving to Westbrook, and Brian Scott from right here in Philadelphia makes the tackle for no gain with Patrick Kearney. Nice. Patrick Kearney from Newtown, just about a half hour outside of town. <laughs> Brian Scott from here in Philadelphia. It's no gain on you, the play, third you, and ten. You trap the trapper, Dave. Kearney blows up the trapper and makes the tackle. Good job by Brian Scott making Westbrook have to make a decision right then. Good job working on that left side, guys. Philadelphia brings in another receiver. Greg Lewis has come in. He'll go to the far side with Freddie Mitchell. Westbrook comes here to the near side with Pinkston. McNabb with an empty backfield. Westbrook now will drop back to a halfback spot. Here comes Atlanta. McNabb loads and throws, and it sailed on him out of bounds. Crowd boos. Christian Morton was stride for stride with the former Illini, Greg Lewis. Lewis would have had to have been Moses Malone to catch that, though. <laughs> Had a flag Jay, huh? on the field, fellas. And we'll get Bill Carolla's interpretation. Prior to the pass, illegal use of the hands. Hands to the face, 21, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first 
touchdown. Tough break for Atlanta there. Well, that's a bad penalty. You came up and they played press, but it's third and long. Yeah, you want to get a jam on him, but you don't want to do something that's going to provide them an easy opportunity to get first downs. That's what D'Angelo Hall did. He was working one-on-one, -on -one, I believe, against Pinkston and got a hand in the face on the press coverage. First and 10 now at the 35. 6.32 to go in the first quarter. No score at Lincoln Financial Field. Got to watch the screens here. Three receivers. Here's McNabb handing to Westbrook, trying to cut back, and he'll get out to just shy of the 39. Tackle made by Brooking. Let's give Brian Westbrook four on the play. I saw one story this week, gentlemen. It said this was a great battle of small backs. Brian Westbrook, 5'10", from uh, here at Villanova, 205 pounds. Warwick Dunn built on basically the same kind of frame out of Florida State. And both play a lot bigger than their stature. Boy, he made a nice little move in the hole, made Brooking miss. Second and six at the 39. Three receivers again. Tight end is L.J. Smith to the right. Little trap. Here's Westbrook running. 45-50. Steps away. 40. 35-30. And brought down at the Atlanta 25-yard line is Brian Westbrook. It is a gain of 36 on the play for Westbrook. Tackle made by Corey Hall. Looks like they ran a little cross buck play to the right side. We had our nickel defense in there. An excellent block by Smith. Excellent counter on Patrick Kearney. Not getting under. Demario Williams got picked up by John Runyon. That's where he should have been in that A-gap. It's a good run. 5.23 to go first quarter, and now the Eagles are threatening. Fresh set of downs at the Falcon 25. Pinkston goes to the left. Mitchell off the formation here to the right. I formation with Perry and Levins. Play action by McNabb. A lot of time, throws back, and it's caught. This is Lewis inside the 10, dumped down at the, or L.J. Smith dumped down at the four-yard line of Atlanta. Starts up front with the pressure. No pressure from the Falcons' front four. McNabb had a chance to look off his first two receivers and then find the guy sitting in the middle. So Philadelphia into the Ford drive zone first today with 4.47 and counting first period. No score, but it's first and goal at the Falcon, four and a half. Levin stays in the game behind Perry. Tight end is to the right, Chad Lewis. Mitchell in motion. Here's the give to Dorsey Levins, and he will be turned away at the one and a half yard line. Second effort, they're gonna rule him in. Yes, they are, touchdown. Wow. Looked like his momentum was stopped. The Falcons. That's what I thought. Well, Atlanta, it looked at me yeah. for a moment. Atlanta had slowed down, David. They did, but he got some help from an, a good offensive lineman. If you're up, will always drive you forward. And that's what happened there. Levins was stopped initially. Looked like he was being driven back. And then a couple of Eagle linemen got in behind him and drove him into the end zone. Looked like Artie Hicks, maybe. Jermaine Mayberry. 70 yard drive in 309. And here's Akers for the point after. And Philadelphia with an early 6-0 lead. Snap, spot, kick from Akers is away, and it's good. Timeout on the field, 4-16 to play first quarter. Philadelphia 7, Atlanta nothing. Our coverage of the NFC title game. Well, Philadelphia goes 70 yards and a half dozen plays in 3-0-9 to take the lead, 7-0. The penalty on third and 10 comes home to roost for Atlanta, unfortunately, there, guys. Yeah, D'Angelo Hall got called for illegal hands to the face on a play that was thrown, a pass was thrown incomplete. So big mistakes and big games cost you points. Touchdown from Levens, his fifth of the year. He had 10 carries, 36 yards last week against Minnesota. It was his fifth game of the year with at least 10 carries or more. Old Georgia Tech boy, huh? Transfer from Notre Dame yeah. out of Syracuse, New York. Dorsey still lives in Atlanta in the offseason. Ball falls off the tee one more time, and now Roderick Hood will come in to lend an index finger for David Akers. Falcons team needs a spark right now. Allen Rossi needs to be the one to get it started right here. The left-footed Akers, six-year veteran from Louisville. Sun starting to peek out as the afternoon wears on. Here's the kick. 
Low line shot, Rossum. Line drive from the two. 10, 15, 20, 25, Rossum. 31-yard line goes Allen Rossum. And that's where Atlanta gets started. First down and 10, tackle made by Hood. Pretty good, lend the finger to help the kick and then make the tackle, and now we got a little pushing and shoving going on. Falcons have started from their 20 and their 30, and now their third possession from their 31. Atlanta's run nine offensive plays and punted twice. Philadelphia's run 12 and has a touchdown. Michael Vick early in this ball game. Is one out of two for three yards. And has been a little indecisive, Wes, and when to take off. I think that he needs to go ahead and take the game in his hands if it's available. White to the right, Price to the left. McCrary done the running backs behind Vic. Silent count. Here's McClure handing to Vic. Play action. Here's the boot. Michael sets. He will sail it out of bounds. Curse stayed home off the right end position and forced the early throw from Vic. Yeah. Second down and 10. Javon Kirst just does what they're telling him to do. Stay outside, protect your outside on that bootleg. They're not really even respecting the cutback, day on the run and play. They're already, you know, anticipating Michael on the boot. And the side to boot is away from Kirst. See, if you can flop the play, boot away from Kirst, there's room. Steve Herndon's coming at right tackle for Todd Weiner on second and 10 at the 31. Here's Vic, play action this time. He'll keep it and go to the right side. 35, Michael diving forward toward a first down. The ball popped loose, but it is ruled down at the 40-yard line. Vic got into it with Brian Dawkins as they went to the turf over there and Lito Shepard, but Michael holds on for a nine-yard gain. It's third and one. Well, I talked about booting away from Curse, and that's exactly what they do here. They boot towards Burgess. There was so much talk about whether Curse was going to shadow Vic. Stay away from Curse. Go the other way. Des White actually recovered the loose ball. Third and one. Got to have this. Atlanta's 0 for 2 on third down. Here's Michael. Play action. He'll hold it in the pocket. Look. Float it downfield. Overshoots. Crumpler intercepted by Sheldon Brown. Coming back here on the near side is Brown. 35 out of bounds there in Atlanta territory. And they held Crumpler, though. It's going to get come all the way back. Marker down just on the other side of the midfield stripe. Crumpler got his jersey torn off. The deep man was open. Who, who was the deep guy? Des White? He had a step on that deep. Huge break. Here is Bill problems. Corolla. Prior to the pass, holding 32, defense, five yard penalty, automatic first down. It's not close, guys. Crumpler comes off. It's an interesting call by Knapp to take a shot, but Michael Lewis grabs Algie Crumpler down the field. It's not even, there's no question about the call. They show it on the big video board here at both ends of Lincoln Financial Field. It happened early, though. See, yeah. he came off the line of scrimmage is when he grabbed it. Exactly. First and 10 at the 45. 3.05 to go in the opening period. Philadelphia 7, Atlanta nothing in this NFC title game. Winner meets the winner of tonight's New England-Pittsburgh contest. Two weeks from today at 6 o'clock at Altel Stadium on the banks of the St. John River. Vic from under center. In motion comes Price. Philadelphia with seven strong in the box. Give us to Dunn, sweeping here to the near side. Got hit high at the 47 and pushed back by Jeremiah Trotter. Be a gain of two for Warwick Dunn, second and eight. Well, that was the outside zone play. There's nothing there. When you got teams that run as fast as this Eagles defense, you got to hit it up in the middle and try to look for the cutback. There was no cutback from Burgess coming on that backside. Almost two and a half to play now, first period. Second down and eight at the 47. Price goes to the right. Des White here to the left. Crumpler now in motion to the wide side at the right. Vic play action. He'll boot back. Michael will stop. Now dance back here to the near side. Gets away from two Eagles. He'll cut it back upfield. Plenty of room. Midfield first down. Cuts back to the 40 and he's tripped up there by Trotter. 
Michael Vick. How good was that 13-yard run? It was good, but Fred McCrary was wide open downfield as Mike scrambling. But I guess when you're scrambling for your life, Wes or Dave, you can elaborate. But Fred McCrary, nobody was within 40 yards of him on that play. And the impressive part about coming back against the grain after the bootleg, he runs through a Javon Curse tackle and is just tripped up or he's off to another 10 or 12 yards. Falcons push Brian Fenner into the right side. Crumpler here to the near side, now in motion to the right. McCrary and Dunn in the eye on first and 10. Give will be to Warwick Dunn, trying to get it blocked, and they do. Inside the 35, down to about the 33-yard line goes Dunn. It's a gain of seven, tripped up by Hollis Thomas. Nine-year tackle from Northern Illinois. Remember this, Derek Burgess is 265, Javon Kurtz 265. I understand what Greg Knapp's doing now, Dave. You got the little guys, try to mash them in, kind of what Kansas City did to us. Yeah, and a good block by the bounty hunter. Fred McCrary. Fred baby. McCrary. Yeah. He put Michael Lewis on his back. Well, and here comes the sledgehammer. T.J. Duckett's come in behind McCrary on second and three at the Eagle 33. Crumpler standing at the right. Give us to Duckett. Banging away. He got hit hard and will fall forward for a yard to the 32. Jeremiah Trotter again for the middle linebacking spot. It's third and two. Yeah, T.J. ran stiff there. Looked like he'd been standing on the sidelines with that look to me. Yeah, he had the there, ball covered up before he even looked at his cut. There was more of a crease in there than what he was able to get out of this. Looked like he just was stiff and cold. They gave, him, they gave him one more yard than I thought he got, too. They gave him the 31. Atlanta gets to the 30 for a first down. Got to hit that hole hard. Philly's fast. 18 seconds and counting in quarter one. Eagles seven, Falcons nothing. Here's Vick from under center. Give us the ducket, and he won't get there. Sam Rayburn, the tackle, holds T.J. Duckett for no gain on the final play of the first quarter. 7-0 Philadelphia, 15 minutes in the books here at Lincoln Financial Field. It'll be fourth and one for Atlanta when we continue from Philadelphia. Atlanta's going to go for it on fourth and one at the 31. We'll tell you about the strategy in a moment. Here's Vic. Handing to Duckett, he'll bounce to the left side. First down, Atlanta on the final play of the quarter. Keith Adams makes the tackle, but T.J. Duckett got nearly five on fourth and one on the final play of the quarter. We want to keep it here or take a break? Take a break. First quarter in the books at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. 7-0 in favor of the Eagles. Second quarter right after this on the Financial Field. The Eagles 7, Atlanta nothing, but the Falcons will have it first and 10 at the Philadelphia 26 when play resumes. Duckett got five on fourth and one. Official game time now. We're working toward four o'clock, 3.50 Eastern time. That's Bulova watch time for Bulova, the official timekeeper of our network and available at It's About Time stores. Wes, well, quite a bit of history in this stadium. Oh, I, think, with, with I want fans. to tell you, they come from Allentown, Lancaster, I bet. Some come from oh, Wilkes-Barre, yeah. Scranton area. Jersey. Westchester area, you bet. Jersey. Jersey, big Philly fan. Some been coming since it was over at Old uh, Robert F. Kennedy Stadium. Lebanon, PA, coming on over. Or JFK. Yeah, JFK. And then uh, Franklin Field, where Steve Van Buren and Chuck Bettinerick played. JFK. Now, we that's a long time ago. We spotted a couple fans down below us. It looked like they might have been there the day Steve Van Buren was stopped by the Packers <laughs> there, inside the five. There are a couple <laughs> this is that were there low and early. Got there early, tailgated a lot, and then saw the this game. This is a ruggish, thuggish-looking crowd. Let's just be honest about it. Warwick Dunn <laughs> has come back in the game for Atlanta after Duckett did his business. First and 10 for Atlanta outside the 26. First play of the second quarter is Vic. Setting up, throws back to Crumpler. A catch and a stiff arm and taken down by Keith Adams, the linebacker, at the 23-yard line. It's a gain right at about three on the play. Adams' fifth tackle already of this first half for the now referred to as the bullet in Philadelphia. He grew up as the termite at Clemson. That's a good play by Adams. Vic rolled left, and they threw the threw the throwback play to Crumpler. Adams shadowed him all the way. Second down, seven ball at the 23. Offset eye, McCrary and Dunn. Here's Price in motion to the left side. Falcons move left to right. It's quarter two. Give us to Dunn, trying to cut it back inside, and we'll get to about the... 21-yard line before he's brought down by Derek Burgess, the end. Well, nobody's taking care of the backside ends, Dave. The Falcons, Warwick Dunn probably could have scooted probably for the first down. 
they got to slow that down, but that's going to set up the bootleg. But that is our bread and butter, Dave, that cutback. Got to yeah, yeah, you got to continue to run the stretch yeah. play. We've seen some success there. That time, the inside zone play, a little bit of success there. Atlanta's 0 for 3 on third down. Michael Jenkins has come in. For the first time, the rookie from Ohio State here wide to the near side. Third and five, Vick in a shotgun. Now he's out of the backfield in motion. And Dunn is the quarterback, keeping to the right. Dunn cuts it back inside. First down, Atlanta to the Philadelphia 14-yard line. They sent Vick to the right on the play they ran last week at the Dome. Yep. Philly went heavy that way. And Dunn, the old Bobby Bowden play. As the quarterback of the crew, Dave, they studied that film work. They saw that. Nice by Greg Knapp. You bringing something off of that play that we used last week when we worked through it. To Michael. A little deception there, boys. Yeah, that's right. Show them something, give them something different. That's oh, usually wow. when Coach Bowden gets on the headset and says, run a trick play there, boys. Done. Eight carries, 31 yards so far in the ball game. Atlanta. Watch for Crumpler one-on-one -on -one here with Lewis. First and 10 at the Eagle 14. In motion is Federer. Here's Vick, a slingshot out in the flat. This is Algie Crumpler stepping away from the safety, Lewis. And downfield to the Philly six. Good call, Arch. They cut Crumpler wide left. One-on-one -on -one with the strong safety, Lewis, and it pays off for eight yards, second and two. Well, Crumpler had an opportunity there. Had Lewis come up and press, he would run the fade, but Lewis stayed off. Crumpler gets the quick throw from Vic, and then it's a mismatch physically as Crumpler picks up eight yards. Sledgehammers come back in. T.J. Duckett, who converted the fourth and one to keep the drive alive. Second down and two at the Philly six. Atlanta trying to answer Dorsey Levin's touchdown a moment ago. Vic keeps Price to the right. Philly now shows blitz. Michael gives the ball. Here's Duckett digging inside the five to the two. First and goal, Atlanta. They're running at Javon Kirst. You study the history of Javon Kirst. He does not play the run. They say here, Dave, they say he's 265 pounds. Javon Kirst, I talked to my inside sources, he's all of 251 pounds soaking wet today. It's the end of the season. It's very light. And you got to tackle. And he's a speed guy, yes. Chuck, with big long yes. legs. You can get in on them yes, legs. Yes, exactly. Good point, Dave. Duckett stays in the game. TJ's got eight rushing scores. He had four against Oakland in December. First and goal at the two. Vic from under center. Give us the Duckett. TJ hit it to two, pushed back toward the three. Good play inside. Hollis Thomas with Keith Adams. And the Eagles read that one beautifully. Second and goal. Let's call it a loss of one to the three. The bootlegs there, Dave. They came down hard. Michael had that right side. It's open. Trying to keep the corner to the back side. Look hard, for though. Des White or somebody to seal it for him and let him get on the edge of the boot. Put Michael in space here. Let him make a play. Almost four minutes gone. Second quarter, 7-0 Philadelphia. Atlanta with it. Second and goal at the Eagle 3. Working toward the south end. Here's Vick keeping. Tried to flip it out in the flat. Batted away by Lewis. The safety stayed home that time. They were looking for McCrary out in the left flat. Incomplete. Now it's third and goal. Good job by Philadelphia that time, mixing up who's going to come off the edge. Lewis comes, Dahani Jones takes the back in the flat, and Brown stays back for Crumpler on the corner out. So real good job of Jim Johnson switching up who's coming off the edge. Quentin Michael, another safety, has come in with Corey Simon. On third and goal at the three. Veteran and Crumpler to the left. T.J. Duckett here to the right. Michael comes all the way out to cover him. Vick in a shotgun. Michael's going to look. Dance here to the right. Now he's in trouble. Steps back up in the seam, and he'll be racked up hard by Hollis Thomas at the five-yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play. It'll be fourth and goal. They put Javon Curse on Algie Crumpler out there on the right side. Nobody open. Mike couldn't find nobody. They even sat back. They weren't in man-to-man -man at all, were they, Dave? No, it was they a zone, zone coverage. It's a horrible op You just don't have enough room down there to stretch the field against the zone. And Mike didn't have enough time to sit there and wait for somebody to uncover. 23-yard field goal attempt by Jay Feely from almost the center of the field. Derek Rackley snaps. Chris Moore will hold. Feely 18-23 this year. Snap spot. Kick is up. And it is good. So a timeout on the field. 10-19 to go first half. Here in Philadelphia, Atlanta's on the board with Feely's field goal to 23 yards. And it's the Eagles, seven and the Falcons, three are coming to the $300 to Children's Health Care of Atlanta for Brawny Paper Towels and the Kicking for Kids program. 17 plays, 64 yards in nearly nine minutes. Atlanta on the board trailing 
Philadelphia by a score of seven to three with David Archer, Chuck Smith, Rick Shaw's our engineer and producer, Bill Garrity spotting for us today, Rick Baker our statistician, Randy Abel's our engineer. This is West Durham at Lincoln Financial Field with Jay Feely kicking off to Reno Mahe and Roderick Hood, and it'll be Mahe working at the seven, cuts it back upfield, gets across the 20, and he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line. So that's where Philadelphia goes to work with 10-10 to play in this first half. We'll get a timeout. 7-3 Eagles. Our coverage continues after this. On the football now and 10-10 to go in the first half. Antoine Lake, Chad Lavalle start out inside with Patrick Kearney and Brady Smith on the edges. Long setback, Westbrook, play action by McNabb. Lavalle chases him up in the pocket. McNabb to run with it. He'll slide down at the 33. It'll be a gain of five for Donovan McNabb. Second down and five from there. And the clock moves under 10 minutes to play here in the first half. Nice right. quick pressure there by Lavalle yep. uh, and good quick decision by Donovan McNabb. No hesitation once he saw the opening, he took off. Philadelphia with it. Moving to our left toward the north end of this two year old facility. Perry and Levens in the eye on second and five. Give is to Dorsey Levens and he'll get across the 30 and they'll measure him to the or 35 they'll measure him to the 37 it'll be third and i believe a yard levens is the only guy playing on the philadelphia roster with a super bowl ring right arch as i understand got that green bay ring yep wow i think that's it short yardage here got to always play the quarterback sneak with McNabb. they need to get beyond the 38 for the first down they got to lock him up and drive their legs Levens behind Perry again. Third and short. Give us to Dorsey Levens. He'll have the first down as he gets near the 40-yard line. Patrick Kearney wrapped him up, but not before Levens got the two yards necessary for a first down. Two yards and change, and it's first and ten for Philadelphia, just shy of the Eagle 40-yard line. It's a huge series for the Falcons, man. Got to keep the Eagles off the board. At worst, Dave, three points is all right. Cannot give up a touchdown on this drive. It's imperative that we stop this team. Philadelphia, I think, hits their first third down a moment ago right there on the play. One out of two now are the Eagles. Todd Pinkston and the former Cavalier Benny, Billy McMullen from Virginia have come in the ball game. In motion goes L.J. Smith. McNabb, play action. Markers thrown down. It's dumped back underneath to Smith. 40-45, midfield into Atlanta territory, but hold the phone here. We'll check the marker. It's inside the Atlanta 45 at the 44. But I think the play might be coming back. Tackle made by Brooking on the far side. Brady Smith got a good jump. Hopefully he went off with a tackle. Here's Bill Carolla. There we go. On the offense, two men moving, not resetting. Five-yard penalty, replay first down. That negates a 17-yard pass play to Smith. L.J. Smith is one of those talented tight ends that's a big guy yet can run and catch the football. And he's a guy that they like to get that medium-range pass to, and they have two or three screens in the package for L.J. Smith. We saw one there. Dorsey Levins comes back in the game. I got to believe your medium range stuff is about all you're going to get today, right? There's going to be a shot out of McNabb before it's over with. Freddie Mitchell to the left. McMullen here to the, uh, Freddie Mitchell to the right, McMullen to the left. Give us to Levins and draft hit him head on at the 38 yard line with Rod Coleman. Nice hit by draft. Nice hit. That's what you want to do when you hit him, fold him up, and they want to big bag him. When you big bag him, Wes, somebody hits him, holds on, you start trying to strip him. Believe me, them arms keep getting hit all day. At some point, somebody's going to lay it down. Dorsey Levins, who probably thinks this is a nice fall day, having spent some tenure in Green Bay. <laughs> oh, to say the least. <laughs> Eagles will shift two receivers to the near side and one to the far side. Second and 11 at the 38. McNabb on play action being pressured. Tried to throw it back toward the uh, tight end, oh. L.J. Smith and Brian Scott. Mm. It was almost overthrown right to Brian Scott. I don't think he ever saw the ball. Oh, no, Smith never saw it. Scott, it was the 
was the closest guy there, Arch. Yeah, and I'm not sure Brian Scott saw it either. I think he saw that it was going to be a screen again to Smith. The Falcons came with pressure. Demario Williams comes right through the middle on that little fold yes, blitz that you'd like. Same blitz. They need to keep doing it, Dave. They need to keep sending at least five guys. Third and 11 now for Philadelphia, and it's 38. Eagles bring McMullen here to the near side. Two receivers to the far side. McNabb again looking to throw. Here comes Coleman in the pocket. McNabb being pressured. He'll dance the one way. Now cuts and throws. Caught Freddie Mitchell. First down, Philadelphia. Unbelievable. Hard to get on the ground. Talked about the strength of Donovan. Yeah, but six foot two, 240 pounds. And he runs like a fullback. He's a tough guy to get on the ground. Three defenders had a chance to put him on the ground. But that's why he has been as good as he's been down through the years. Tremendous effort to stay alive. Diving catch, 13-yard reception by Freddie Mitchell. Converts third and 11 into first and 10. At the Falcon 49-yard line. Boy, how big has Mitchell been for them in the postseason so far? He'll go to the right. Receiver here to the left, McNabb looks. They're going to take a shot downfield, looking for Lewis. Caught it inside the 10. He'll be brought down at the 4. Greg Lewis tackled by Christian Martin at the 4-yard line, and Philadelphia goes 45 yards on first and 10. Well, you just got to play the ball. Christian Martin, the ball hangs up there for, for all kind of time. He's already off of him. You just got to go up and knock this ball down and play the ball. Well, you're talking about a guy that's played limited action this year for the Falcons, was brought in late in the season, forced into duty because of the Kevin Mathis injury, and this is just one-on-one. 45-yard reception. It's first and goal at the four. Receiver to the right. Give will be to Dorsey Levins, and he'll be brought down at the three. A gain of one. Tackle made by Lavalle, the fifth-round choice from LSU. Well, the only option here, good job by the Falcons making that play. They get, can't give up seven here, Dave. Got to play for the three. Got to play for the three. McNabb likes to run in the red zone. Perry comes back in at fullback here, Chuck. They also bring big Alfonso, Alonzo Ephraim. 76. This is like where they like L.J. Smith and they like Chad Lewis down here throwing the ball. Levins and Perry now in motion. Levins the setback. Play action by McNabb. He'll throw to the end zone. Lewis there. And he is caught. Touchdown. Chad Lewis, the tight end. They had to huddle briefly before they made the call. But Lewis makes the catch for the score. And Atlanta has already challenged. Jim Mora throwing the red flag at the 20-yard line. Well, this was evident that the wind affected this play because McNabb tries to float the football. And Chad know. Lewis makes a choose to, like a tippy toast job on the sideline. And I'm not sure they're going to see enough to overturn this. It looks like he drags the feet. So we've seen Greg Lewis for a big 45 yard catch. And now Chad Lewis, no relation. And here's Bill Carolla. Atlanta is challenging the ruling on the field that it was a touchdown. We'll review the play. Tell you what, if it's not a touchdown, it is third and goal. And they'll go up under the hood and have a look here. Well, Falcons trailing by four points, seven to three, with 4.58 to play first half here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. We talked about the big plays, not giving up the 20 yards or more. You see on the first touchdown drive, Westbrook goes for 36. Right. That sets up a touchdown. Christian Morton on this play, not playing the ball. And, you know, a good catch by the receiver, but that was a ball that should be knocked down by the Falcons secondary, Christian Morton. And you got to credit you got to credit the Eagles because they are not doing anything different than, than I saw yeah. on film. This play right here, as they lined up, you could, I knew that... that that Lewis and Smith were the two, or Lewis and uh, Smith were the two guys they want to throw the football to. So the Falcons are seeing what the Eagles have done all year long. The Eagles are just out executing. Well, it's a long football game. Jim Morris said after San Francisco, this is a marathon, not a sprint, and this ball game today might end up typifying such a statement, Chuck. Yeah, you're exactly right. And give credit to Donovan McNabb for making a play, but the Falcons had four or five shots at him in the backfield, so. 
you got to make those plays against a, a quarterback of the caliber of Donovan McNabb. You can't give him that kind of free time back there. Eagles lead 7-3. Atlanta challenging the touchdown catch by Chad Lewis of three yards from Donovan McNabb. And oh, by the way, it is officially cold here. Well, the sun is starting. The sun was out early. It still is out, but now it's starting to get late enough in the day where the sun is starting to drift behind the stadium. Stay tuned following the game for the singular wireless call of the game, the new singular, raising the bar. I'm not Jim Cantori, and I don't play him on television, but I bet it'll be real cold at Heinz Field tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. Huh? Ooh, that's going to be sub. This is almost sub zero, but it's going to be something cold. There. What do you think here, Arch? Touchdown or not? Well, I as think... I look at it again on the replay, it's hard to see whether he drags the right foot or not. And I'm not sure that he gets the right foot down, but again, it's close enough. Right. It looks close enough to where it's going to be tough for them to overturn it. How'd yeah. you like to be Bill Carolla over there under the hood in front of that crowd on the east side of Lincoln Financial? I'm an optimist, but it looked like he got that, that dragged that foot. Yep. Almost like Peerless Price's catch last week yeah. in Atlanta. It's going to be hard for him to overturn this one. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Here he comes. After reviewing the play, the play stands as called. Touchdown. Atlanta is charged with their second charge timeout. Falcons will have one timeout remaining in the first half. It is a quick drive by Philadelphia. Nine plays. 72 yards in five minutes, 21 seconds. Big plays to do it quick, Wes. That yep. long, deep pass. Did it kill you? Philadelphia has now scored touchdowns in their last two possessions. Here's Akers for the point after. Out of the hold of Coy Detmer. Snap spot. Tries away and it's good. Timeout on the field here at Lincoln Financial. In Philadelphia, Eagles 14, Falcons 3, our coverage of the National Football Cup 14, Atlanta 3 with 4.58 to play. Here first half in Philadelphia, the Eagles have generated 142 yards of offense, 15 offensive plays, had the ball for better than, well, right at eight and a half minutes and had two touchdowns in their last two possessions. Atlanta had a monumental drive in terms of plays and time, 17 plays, 8.57 on the drive, 64 yards, but had to get the field goal. And now here's the kick by Akers and Russell on the fly from the six. Allen waits on a window at the 20, cuts back 25, and up to about the 30 goes Rossum. Pretty good starting spot for Atlanta. Labinjo makes the tackle, free agent linebacker for Michigan State, and that kickoff is another $100 for the Falcons Youth Foundation, courtesy of Safe Auto. Minimum coverage for minimum budgets at 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. Timeout on the phone of our car. Atlanta finds themselves down 14-3 with 78 yards of offense. Philadelphia 169, but as I told you a moment ago, 142 in their last two possessions. Atlanta's only got 12 yards of passing, 66 yards of rushing. Two penalties for the Falcons, three for the Eagles. Possession time, Atlanta's had it almost four minutes longer, three and a half minutes more than Philadelphia. But you got to be, got to be sensible here in the last 450. Yeah, I think Jim Johnson's going to even get more and more crowded in the line of scrimmage. High formation, McCrary and Dunn in motion goes Crumpler to the left. Beverly already in it, one of the tight end spots. Give will be to Dunn, they run left side. And Warwick Dunn gets about three yards to the 33. Tackle made by Burgess, the end, four years from Ole Miss. A couple of former Rebels on here, Nate Wayne, one of the linebackers as well. Time like this, the Eagles are all jacked up. Wouldn't be a bad time for a screen pass from Greg Knapp. They're gonna be jetting upfield. Maybe you catch all three backers coming, Dave. Yeah, it'd be nice if you catch them blitzing, but the <laughs> linebackers run so well. You got to be careful. Herndon playing a lot at right tackle today for Todd Weiner, guys. Who was banged up last week against St. Louis. In motion comes White, second and seven Atlanta at its 33. 
Here's Vick on a straight drop. Michael throws left. That's caught on the slant by Price for a first down at the 47-yard line. He got rolled around on the tackle by Brian Dawkins. It's a real good route by Peerless Price, a curl route to the inside at about 12 yards. Price kept the defender on his outside shoulder, hooked into the middle. Good pass protection. Michael throws a laser. 14 yards to the 47. Weiner comes back in the ball game now at tackle, replacing Herndon. First and 10 for Atlanta, it's 47. Here's Vick. First down is done, and Trotter into the backfield for a three-yard loss. Fifth tackle of the first half for Jeremiah Trotter. Got to get those guys out the box. They're coming downhill fast. I watched the backers in, Dave. Even though they're not blitzing, they're coming downhill. I'm telling you, a screen or that play-action pass, we've got to catch them big on one of those plays sometime. Nice job by Trotter, though, getting yeah. downfield. Perfect run through by Jeremiah Trotter, and Roberto Garza could not get a hat on him. He didn't even respect anything with the pass that play. Veteran will go to the left this time. Crumpler off the formation of that side as well. Here's Vic dropping back. Michael looks. He'll throw, and he sails it over the top of Algie Crumpler, who had Brian Dawkins defending. Pass interference. And a flag's come down behind the play. This might be a got late hit, hit on Michael Vic. I got hit in the head. Sure is. Roughing the passer. Right. It's a nice one right there. Runyon. Looked like Runyon. Sam Runyon. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. A blow to the face mask. 91. Defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. And Michael does a good job letting the referee know that he hit me in the face. Going right to him. Smart play by Mike Vick on that play to get the call. Ball moves to the Philadelphia 40-yard line. And, of course, I guess you can't call it the Bronx cheer here, can you? <laughs> it's first and ten for Vic. Two receivers to either side. In motion comes Beverly. Here's Michael. Three steps. He'll pump. Price heads down the field. Vic throws back center of the field. Caught Crumpler. And he held on and took Dawkins. Big hit at the 10 yard line. Get up, Algie. Get up. That's what Algie I'm got about. up. It is a 30 yard throw and catch from Vic to Algie Crumpler. Nice catch. Nice play action fast and patience by Mike Vic, Dave. It really was. He wanted Price on the, on the slant and go. But a good job out there by, the, uh, by Lito Shepard. So he comes back to the seam route to Crumpler and credit Algie Crumpler. Yes. He knows he's going to take a shot from Brian Dawkins to hang on to the rock. Yep. Crumpler comes out of the ball game. And he is clearly shaken up on a 30-yard catch. It was sensational. First and 10. Here comes Atlanta in the drive zone. Warwick Dunn, touchdown. Woo! Warwick Dunn, 10 yards. Goes banging away for the score. Inside zone play. Comes off the block of Keenan Forney. Good job on the combination rub double. Todd McClory, Keenan Forney, not Corey Simon into the backfield. And we talked about those linebackers playing downhill. If you get a hat on them, there's nobody at the next level. And that's what happened there. The linebackers got caught inside and Dunn finds the, finds the crease. This game's all about answering, Wes. Good job answering by the Falcons. Two minutes and 54 seconds on the drive. Five plays, 70 yards. And here is Feely to try and cut it to 14-10. Rackley snap, Moore spot, the kick is good. So with 2.02 to play in the first half, a 70-yard drive in five plays, under three minutes, and Warwick Dunn gets another rushing score, his third of the postseason and his 12th of the year, making it 14 to 10. Now, they haven't stopped us yet, Dave and Wes. We've been going downfield on these guys. The defense has got to bow their necks here. McNabb's going to come out. They're going to try to put points on the board. I'll tell you what that drive just did, guys, and I don't think the Eagles really believe that, that we, Michael Vick could make any throws down the field. Good point. He gets the completion to Peerless Price. Then he does a real good job of having protection, pump faking a safety out of the middle field, and finally Crumpler down the seam. That's got to help your running game. And a guy like Warwick Dunn, who admitted earlier this week he's not been the greatest postseason player in his career comes up strong with a nice 10-yard touchdown run too yeah he's playing strong he hit that hole there was no indecisiveness there good call by the falcons greg knapp to call that run play done now 41 yards on 11 carries michael vicks five of eight for 60 yards 
Five plays, 70 yards in 256 the time of the drive. But you got to be careful here, Dave. You were a quarterback in this league. You can't play soft. You cannot because McNabb gets big jumps real fast. Exactly right. Donovan, you got to stay after Donovan and McNabb. J.R. Reed is the rookie from South Florida, and he's now coming to ball game with Roderick Hood to return the kick. Feely's extra points, another $100 for children's health care. Car car compliments of uh, Brawny Paper Towel and our Kicking for Kids program. Don't be surprised for a little something here from the special teams. I'd send five, man. I'd send five or six. These receivers aren't getting open quick. Get after McNabb. He's the key. Aaron Beasley holds for Feely's kick. And he'll hang it up. Coming up is Hood, and he'll play from the eight. Hood tries to cut back 25, and he'll be taken down. Brian Federer Artie Omer. Federer, a former Villanova Wildcat from out in Southern California. That's Time out on the field. Two-minute warning. 154 to go before halftime. 14-10 in the NFC to go. And we come back to the old two-minute philosophy here. See what the Eagles get on the first two plays, decide how serious they're going to treat it, right, Arch? Well, I think that the Eagles are a little bit different, Wes, in the fact that they want to throw the football anyway. But you will see something, a screen pass, something like that, or maybe the crossing routes, get the ball underneath, see if somebody can roll the ball. Our bullable watch time, 4.27 p.m., official timekeeper of our Falcons network, available at It's About Time stores in a mall near you. Greg Lewis goes to the far side. Todd Pinkston here to the near side. Westbrook is the setback. And McNabb looks to throw, but he's sacked by Kearney. Nice Back at the 22-yard line, Patrick Kearney. Nice spin move. That's the first time I've ever seen Patrick Kearney bring that out of the repertoire. Spin moves on John Runyon. And it might be the first time we've seen Runyon uncovered from a tight end. They've been protecting him all day long with a tight end. They went three receivers, let Runyon stay on the island by himself. Oh, and Kearney, who's going to Honolulu in three weeks, took his doors off. Runyon's now, he's got to worry about the inside and the outside moves. Three receivers, two to the right, one to the left for McNabb on second and 17. Gibb will be here near side. Westbrook cuts it back at the 30, and Beasley helps slow him down with Brooking at the 32-yard line. Ten-yard run for Brian Westbrook. You can't give that up that easy, Wes. You can't. They didn't try to disguise anything. You got to play that play. 58 seconds left. Philadelphia's got a timeout left. Well, it'll depend right here, Wes. If they're able to convert, they'll burn a timeout. I'd spy McNabb here, man. I wouldn't be surprised if he just takes off. Lewis and Mitchell to the far side. Pinkston near side. McNabb to throw on third and seven. Here comes the pressure from Coleman. Slipped away. Looks right. Throws back underneath Westbrook. Did he get the first down? No. I don't think so. It's close. It's going to be just short, though. Oh, look at the spot. That's a bad spot. Good relentless rush from Patrick Kearney. Kearney was able to keep Donovan McNabb from running with the ball, made him for, dump the ball to Westbrook. But once again, Coleman had a shot at the strength of Donovan McNabb to pull away from the Coleman tackle, and then Kearney put some pressure on him. Right over in front of the Atlanta bench. Bill Carolla telling Beasley to get back as well as the Falcon bench area. Might see Andy Reid challenge his spot if they're short of the first down. Boy, you don't think something's on the line. These guys are playing for keeps here. Yes, sir. It's he short. is short. He is short. I'll bet Andy Reid challenges this spot. I want Well, let's there see if the, here comes the punt team. native of Los Angeles and there BYU throws the flag out there. Yeah. Now they're going to kick it. Yeah, they are, aren't they? How much time we got left on the clock? You know what? It's inside two minutes, so they would review yeah. that anyway, wouldn't yeah. they? Yep. That's fine. Fourth and one at the 39. Three and out for the first time for Philly today offensively, gentlemen. How about Westbrook, though? You, you got to dive and sell out for that, Dave. He runs to the sideline instead of turning it up. Here is Dirk Johnson. Hey, you got to get that. <laughs> no, but I don't, I don't question anything 36 does. He's pretty much all-out guy, but yeah, you're right. If you come up that short. Yeah, you got to get that. Watch for anything special here to try to pick up the first down. First punt of the day by Johnson. Snaps to him, and he will punt it away to Rossum. Hangs it high. Allen will drift to the left, and he'll play on the run. Cuts it back up the field. Now reverses field. Rossum, 30, and he'll be brought down shy of the Atlanta 35-yard line. Tackle made by Ike Reese, who had the big interception last week against Minnesota. 
Clock stops with 21 seconds left, 38-yard punt, and an eight-yard return. I like that, Dave. I saw something there with Allen. He had a shot. One more block, he might go to distance. Ball will be at the Falcon 35 with 21 seconds left and Atlanta with a timeout. That's where Mike needs to use them legs, get about 30 or 40 right here. Better make it a quick 30 or 40. He can do it. <laughs> <laughs> he can do it. Crumpler has come in the game, so Algie's okay. Three receivers. Nichols for the Eagles. Here's Vic looking to throw. Pumps. Put it up in the air. Batted to the ground. Ooh. That ball got blocked by Corey Simon, who got a hand up. It'll be second down and 10. Clock stops with 16 seconds left. But he had two bounces of the ball that were fortunate. One for the Falcons. It wasn't picked off because it was batted. The second was good for the Eagles because Brian Finneran was going to come open in the middle of the zone. So the Eagles were fortunate they did get a hand on the football. Arch, is that a pump and go game they got going? No, he was just, he was going to unload it. He saw the zone was covered. He was waiting for Finneran to uncover to the next cover. Finneran, Finneran and Jenkins here near side, Price far side, and Crumpler in motion. Vick in a shotgun. Philadelphia rushes four. Michael steps up in the pocket. Now he'll dance around and fall down back at the 23 yard line. Javon Curse was chasing him back there, but. The clock finally runs out on this first half. It's 14-10 Philadelphia here at the half. And the Eagles will get the ball to start the second half, guys. Yeah, but I don't think they're feeling real comfortable about the situation. The Falcons are right there. They can take this football game with 30 minutes to play. Mitch Evans anchors our halftime coverage from our Atlanta studios. The NFC title game is at the break. The Eagles 14, the Falcons 10 on your home. With a four-point edge as we get ready to start half number two here at Lincoln Financial Field. With Chuck Smith, David Archer, Wes Durham, a look at these halftime stats. The Eagles, 178 yards of offense, 77 yards rushing, 101 yards on the ground, are passing. Atlanta, 76 yards of rushing, 40 yards passing. Falcons hit only one of five on third down. The Eagles were two out of four. Michael Vick was five for nine for 59 yards and sacked twice. Donovan McNabb was seven out of 10 for 104 yards, sacked once and threw a touchdown. On the ground, Brian Westbrook, five carries, 49 yards. He had one slice for 36 yards in the first half. Dorsey Levins, five carries, 14 yards, and a touchdown for the Eagles. McNabb has run twice for 14. Warwick Dunn, 11 carries, 40 yards, and a score. Michael Vick, 26 yards on four carries. T.J. Duckett, 10 yards on five carries. Algie Crumpler, the leading receiver in the ball game with three catches and 42 yards. Uh, Lewis, Greg Lewis for, um, I'm sorry, L.J. Lewis for the uh, L.J. Smith, and it is uh, <laughs> drawing a blank here. Greg Lewis and Chad Lewis, the tight end, two catches, six yards. Greg Lewis, one catch for 45. L.J. Smith, one catch, 21. Too many Chads, Gregs, yeah, and L.J.'s Lewis's. in the most. And they really spread it around. Yeah, yeah. they do. Spread it around. A lot of guys got involved. Eight catches, seven different receivers in the first half. Yeah. Good job of Donovan McNabb, and I think the key for McNabb has been his the inability of the Falcons to get him on the ground, to stay alive. You look at the third down play he made to extend that drive that went led to a touchdown. Feeling to kick it away, J.R. Reed, the rookie from South Florida's deep. Crowd not quite back in their seat. We're underway with the second half. Feely kicks it to our left, running catch of it by Reed, sprinting to the far side. Whoa, got hit, and I mean head on at the 25-yard line. Artie Ulmer. Demario Williams and cleaned it up. Nice hit. Sadiq Shabazz, Woo. Demario Williams. Looked like Kevin McAdam might have got in on the play also. Wes, here you go. First four minutes of this half. Key, a big football game. What the Falcons do, they decide to take the wind in the fourth quarter. So Donovan McNabb has the ball first and the wind in the third quarter. Eagles with the ball at their 27 to start the drive. First down and 10. Got to stop the run, man. Tell you what, I don't know where folks go at halftime, but they better hurry back. Pretty good ball game. High formation, Westbrook behind Perry. Mitchell near side, Pinkston far side. Give is to Westbrook. Tries to cut back inside, tripped up by Brian Scott. Falls forward to the 30. It'll be a gain of three. Good job by Patrick Kearney again, creating an edge, making where Westbrook can't cut back inside of him. And Brian Scott's exactly where he should be to secure the tackle. Kearney's having a monster game right now so far. Perry comes out of the ball game. 
And they bring Lewis and L.J. Smith, both tight ends, into the ball game now. Lewis goes to the left, Smith to the right. Mitchell to the left, Pinks into the right, and the lone setback Westbrook on second and seven. And now Philadelphia making an adjustment. McNabb drops back, looks, and Coleman almost got to him. He dumps it here near side. Westbrook pushed out of bounds, shy of the 35 by Matt Stewart. They'll measure it right to the 35. It'll be third down and two. Coleman almost got to McNabb before he was able to deliver the football out in the flat to Westbrook for five. Man, that's a good job by Donovan McNabb, though. He had enough time to where he was able to set and really stare down the curl route, wait, and then dump the ball in the flat to Westbrook, and Westbrook comes close to picking up the first down. Levens comes in. They take Chad Lewis out. Dorsey Levens has been a third down workhorse for Philadelphia. McNabb sets him off to the right on third and two and will throw the football. Here's McNabb being flushed here to the near side. He'll turn the corner, has the first down, stays on his feet, out of bounds into the Philadelphia bench at the Eagle 43. It's a gain of eight. Yeah, that's what makes him dangerous, a dual threat. He's looking to run more. I think that was a design run, Dave. I know they sent him down. I don't think McNabb even thought about throwing it downfield. Well, he had Freddie Mitchell yeah. coming across the middle of the field open, but he saw that Patrick Kearney lost contain. He floated to the outside, picked up a couple of good blocks, and got the first down. First and 10 at the Eagle 43. Almost two minutes old, second half. 14-10 Philadelphia, and the Eagles with a football. McNabb from under center. Play action to Westbrook. Turns back. Has time. Throwing the deep ball downfield for Pinkston. Incomplete. And no marker on the play. Christian Martin in coverage with Pinkston. It is a marker on the play, isn't it? Pass interference on us. Where's the flag? He threw it and went out of bounds. Is that the flag back at the 23 and a half? It doesn't look like it. Pass. Prior to the pass, illegal contact, 30, defense, five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Penalty was thrown over by the Atlanta bench at the 40-yard line. Hard to pick out with so much wind and things wow. blowing in and around this stadium. He hit him after the tent after five yards. All right, your personnel group now is the Falcons now have countered, it looks like, with their nickel group, and Westbrook and Levins are in the backfield together. Westbrook goes with Pinkston to the left. Mitchell comes here with Lewis to the near side. Here's McNabb looking to throw. Falcons looking for pressure. Back underneath, that's Levins and taken down at the 48. Sliding underneath was Webster, and then Brooking polished him off at the Atlanta 48. It's a gain of four, second and six. That, press, that pass rush is imperative. You got to get there. McNabb's not feeling rushed enough. Got to get put some hits on him, get your hands up, something to help your secondary. Only been sacked once here in the ball game has McNabb, the former two-sport star at Syracuse. Dorsey Levens comes out. The wind is really starting to pick up here as we have moved into the third quarter of play. Second and six for Philadelphia at the Falcon 48, and the Eagles with a four-point lead. Here's the give, and this is Westbrook cutting back. He'll be near a first down, and he'll have it at the Atlanta 40-yard line. Ed Jasper, first time we've called the eight-year man from Texas A&M's name. It's an eight-yard game for Brian Westbrook in a first down. Well, you got to stop one or the other. They're, they're doing a good job of countering the Falcons when we go into nickel, and they're running the ball. Yeah, the nickel is always a little bit weaker against the yeah. run. You put your smaller linebacker in, Demario Williams, and you obviously have five defensive backs in the game. That's a group you can get after running the ball. Ninth time Westbrook's touched the football today, guys. They're 21 and one when he touches it 10 or more. Here's the 10th carry, or the 10th touch of the ball, and Westbrook scoots the corner, 35-30. Out of bounds he goes at the Atlanta 28-yard line. It'll be a gain of 12 and a first down. Had him again. Falcons are their one the worst enemy. You just got to secure the tackle. So a dozen for Westbrook, and it's first and 10 now in Atlanta territory at the 28. 11 21 to go third quarter 14 10 philadelphia and the eagles driving with the opening kick of the second half well Westbrook is a guy they like to get the football to about 20 times he's about halfway there mitchell goes to the left both tight ends tucked here to the right tosses to westbrook 
He'll run into the boundary, turn the corner, out of bounds, inside the 20, knocked out of bounds at the 17. It'll be another Philadelphia first down. Boundary run that time by Brian Westbrook. Angled out by Brian Scott. Now he's at 83 yards, well on his way to 100. You, you got to slow him down or the Falcons are going to get a big dose of that same play. It's a tall sweep. They got 11. They measure it to the 17. 10.45 to go third quarter. Well, Falcons will have to bow their neck right here. This is the number three team in the National Football League. The Eagles in the red zone are putting it in the end zone. Pinkston goes to the left. Here's McNabb giving to Westbrook. Fumble of the ball. He fell on it back in the 22. Oh, the Eagle hearts went in their collective throats that time when Westbrook mishandled the give from McNabb. What happens on that play is they get the play in too late. Andy Reid took too long to get the play to McNabb. They rushed to the line of scrimmage, and subsequently the handoff was rushed, and Westbrook was able to get back on the football. Lost five to the 22. It's second and 15 now. Atlanta has to take advantage defensively. You got to expect a pass right here. The Eagles have made the bulk of their yards throwing it, and uh, play the pass here. Smith goes right, or Smith goes to the left. Lewis here to the right, and McNabb will throw. Dumps back inside. This is Westbrook at the 20. Breaks one tackle at the 15, brought down at the 13-yard line by Corey Hall. Pickup of nine will make it third down and six. I'll tell you, the, the stat you need to get on Westbrook is how many yards he gets after you after make initial breaks, contact. You're right. He's breaking tackles. Falcons are having a bad day tackling. Ball just outside the 13 for third and six. Keep brooking arm tackle on that one. Everybody's got to flow to the ball. This is a huge play. The difference between three and seven are gigantic you're not kidding 9 14 to go quarter three watch for lj smith 14 10 philadelphia both tight ends to the right here's levens in motion and McNabb to throw looks back across the center of the field now pumps throws for levens almost intercepted by brian scott gotta have that one be scott in your hands oh almost intercepted by brian scott see the air the wind took hold of that ball day boy the Falcons did it you're right Chuck he, the ball hung in the air and allowed Brian Scott that's a play you have to make in these kind of games force him to kick a field goal real good job by the middle defenders for the Falcons taking Westbrook away he's going right down through the middle 11th play of the drives a 31 yard field goal from Akers off the near hash a right to left angle for Akers first field goal try of the day snap spot Kick is away, and it is good. Timeout on the field. 8.55 to go, third quarter. Philadelphia 17, Atlanta 10. Our coverage of the NFC title game continues. Stay tuned following the game for the singular wireless call of the game, the new singular raising the bar. 8.55 to go, quarter three. Philadelphia, after the Acres field goal, is third of the postseason. 21 and 23 last week against Minnesota. 31 here a moment ago. The Eagles now with a seven point lead at 17 to 10. And almost as they did late in the first half, Falcons mantra now is really to answer again, isn't it? It really is, but they kept the game to a one score game. That was big to stop them and force a field goal. And again, they'll ask Roderick Hood maybe to come in and lend an index finger. Yeah, a little haul back there. Joe Deacon Millis might be coming with a little trickery right here. Yep. D'Angelo Hall and Michael Jenkins are yeah. both deep. And before Hood Ooh. went out there, he uh, turned and talked briefly with Dexter Wynn to make sure they had their assignments ready. Need a good field position here, Allen Ross. We need a nice return. Or D'Angelo Hall. Or Michael Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever. Yeah. See how Akers kicks this. He's going to angle it for... D'Angelo, nope, it's Rossum who fumbles it in the end zone, and he'll just touch a knee. That ball knuckled off Akers' foot. Coming down the field, Rossum, almost like a triple-A shortstop, was having to play the Hoboken bounce, if you will, and it's first and 10 at the 20 for Atlanta. We're going to break, come back. Michael Vick takes the field for the first time in half, two. Eagles 17. Falcons 10. Coverage continues after this. Four hours a day exclusively on Comcast Channel 119. Get $400 to ditch the dish. Call 404. That's Comcast. Well, here we go. Atlanta operating from the 
I guess if there's a noisier end of the two facilities, it's the south end, wouldn't you say, Arch? I think so. And they're yep. cranked up right now. First and 10 at the 20. Vic from under center. Quick handoff. This is done right side, and he'll get six to the 26. Digging out before Trotter can make the stop. Tackle number six on the day for Jeremiah Trotter. Good, Good job establishing the run right off here in the second half. Come off the ball and bloody their nose. It's power surge. Good job also by Fred McCrary getting on Jeremiah Trotter once again. Price and White come out. Fennerin goes to the right. Two tight ends. Beverly and Crumpler here to the left on second down and four. Algae in motion. Here's Vic handing to Dunn. He'll cut back first down across the 30 to the 33. 13 yards on two carries of the football. Another tackle by Trotter. But it's after Dunn collects seven yards. Well, what happens if you get that zone play going, which that one was, or the stretch play, which is their wider play, it starts creeping in the backside. The backside can't be concerned so much with Vic, and Vic's going to come out on a play. Price goes to the right, White to the boundary here at the left. Falcons move to our left, north end of Lincoln Financial Field. In motion, Crumpler to the right side on first down and 10. Play action to Dunn. Michael looks, pumps it, now in trouble. Got to get rid of it. He'll be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line, tripped up by Derek Burgess. It'll be a loss of 10. It'll be second and 20. Now, Mike wanted to dump the ball. It was a play action pass. Didn't like what was going on downfield. Wanted to dump it to Warwick Dunn, but he was covered up. And so he tried to create. Can't run backwards, though, against this defense. Third sack of the day for Philadelphia. They measure to the 24, so it is second and 19. Philadelphia getting a field goal from Akers to push the lead to seven. Now has Atlanta second and long. Give us to Dunn, and he'll get to about the 28-yard line. Keith Adams, Derek Burgess on the tackle for Philadelphia there. It's not as much crowd noise as you'd expect. They're doing a quick snap right here. Maybe it's a time for a hard count, Dave. Maybe you try to hard count them and uh, steal one here and get a free play. Atlanta only hit one of five third down tries in the first half. This is third and 15. Nickel here for Philadelphia. Vick in the shotgun. He'll move Crumpler to the right. Philly. Brings six, Vic loops, caught. That's Michael Jenkins, and he'll be taken down by Sheldon Brown at the 34-yard line. It's a gain of six. It'll make it fourth and nine, and Atlanta is five downs and a punt. They, they did a great job of picking up the blitz. Michael, stay a little more patient back there. Somebody might free open late, but I guess he looked at his guy, and that was his hot guy. Now here's Moore into the wind now. Reno Mahe, Dexter Wynn, deep to receive. Mahe here to the near side. Wynn straight away. Chris Moore only punted twice in the first half. Snap to him. And he drills it into that breeze. Look at it get knocked down. It'll hit, take a Philadelphia bounce. And it is touched up at about the 47-yard line of the Eagles. They unstack. Philadelphia's got the ball. It was... Sadiq Shabazz and Kevin McAdam downfield. 18-yard punt into that tough win. Timeout on the field. 17-10 Philadelphia, 542 to go Delta quarter three. Affairs. It's the this. end of the Saturday night stay. See how one airline is changing everything. Find out more. Visit, visit us at delta.com slash simplifairs. I got it right, guys. Outstanding. You know, I got it right. Nice job. 542 to play third quarter. Philadelphia with the ball. First and 10 at its 47. McNabb from under center, seven-point lead for the Eagles. Sweep with Westbrook, not very far, might have lost a yard. Brady Smith does a great job staying home, turning Westbrook around, and it will be a loss of one, second and let's call it 11. We'll call it a loss of one, back to the 46 we will. We've seen this team, we saw it a number of times, the first eight games of the year, come up with big third-quarter stops because the offense was sputtering a little bit. This is the biggest of the season. Two receivers clustered to the left. Both tight ends have come in. McNabb brings Chad Lewis in motion. Play action, McNabb. Rolls right. Now with time. Back across the middle. Caught Westbrook. 
First down, Brian Westbrook at the Atlanta 40 and a half yard line. Tackle made by Matt Stewart. All Pick Donovan. up a 14 yards and a first down. All Donovan McNabb. We got guys back there chasing him. He just slides in the pocket. Incredible pocket presence by McNabb to find an open receiver. 437 to go, third quarter, 17-10 in Philadelphia. Leading by seven. Pinkston goes left. Mitchell and Lewis here to the right. McNabb back up in the pocket. Throws here to the near side and underneath. Dorsey Levin's incomplete. Now you got to start thinking here, Dave. McNabb's going to run any second now. I'm telling you. The guy realizes how important this game is, and he's picking and choosing when he runs. This is perfect time for them to either throw a screen, run, or come with a draw. Donovan McNabb today after the incomplete pass, 11-16, 137 and a score. Killing us on third downs, though. That's when he's doing his real damage. Second down and 10, ball at the Falcon 40-yard line. Westbrook will come here wide to the left. Pinkston, or to the near side. Pinkston goes to the left. Levin stays in behind Perry at fullback. Play action to Dorsey Levins. Here's Kearney up in the face. They dump it in the flat. Levins falls down at the 42-yard line. Loss of two makes it third and 12. Break there. D'Angelo Hall was collapsing for Atlanta defensively. Real good job, Chuck, there. You made the call. They look for the screen. Dorsey Levins, he's the guy you probably don't expect to get the football in a second and long situation, but the screen was perfectly set up. Yeah, but right here, you got to get to McNabb. He's going to buy time because he thinks his receivers are coming open late. They've been doing it all game, Wes. That's where he's been killing us on third down. 3.45 to play third quarter. It's third down and 12 at the 42 of Atlanta. Freddie Mitchell goes to the far side. Westbrook Pinkston here to the near side. Westbrook now in motion being followed by Jason Webster. McNabb drops back, steps up in the pocket. Marker's thrown. He will run with it and be brought down at the 40. Oh, come on. And let's check the flag. Here's Bill Corolla. It's a shift on All right. Great Philadelphia. Call. Decline it. Atlanta will decline. McNabb only got two yards. Illegal shift. Offense. Two men moving, not resetting. That penalty is declined. Result of the play, fourth down. Fourth and 10 at the 40. McNabb nice. brought down after a two-yard game. Nice design by Ed Donatel that time. Snuck Keith Brooking up and lined him up on the center. Made him engage the center, which locked the other lineman one-on-one, -on -one, and then Brooking dropped out. Eight on the line for Atlanta, and they're in there on Johnson, who hangs it up. Rossum tells everybody to get away from it. It takes a Philadelphia bounce at the nine. It'll be touched up there. Marker down back here at the 47 of the Falcons. Aaron hold Beasley saying hold. the phone. Make him do this one again. Yes, sir. You bet. Prior to the kick, holding 30 kicking team. J.R. Reed. Well, you can mess, be rest assured they're going to be backed up. The fourth and 15. 10-yard penalty. Replay fourth down. Now it's midfield and Rossum with a little more cushion. If we can keep this game close, Wes, Dave's been talking about it with the win disadvantage this quarter. The fourth quarter oh. is ours, man. We're going to need it. We just got to keep it close. If they can get three or seven in this third quarter. Then Eagle fans start thinking of Ricky Manning Jr. There you go, Wes. Ronde Thank Barber. You. Thank you, Wes. There Watch you go. Watch out for 20 right here. Alan Rossum trying to join that list of nightmares in Philadelphia. <laughs> Snap. Angling it to the far side. Rossum will let it hit. And Allen gets away from it. It will roll dead. Mike Bartram, the former Marshall Thundering Herd, touches it up at the 14-yard line. And that's where Atlanta gets going. Timeout on the field. 3.06 to go, third quarter. 17-10 Philadelphia with a seven-point lead. Our coverage continues of the NFC title game. 3 6 to go, quarter three. Atlanta with the ball at its 14. Second offensive possession for the Falcons, who were five plays and a punt last time. Road's been hard to hoe at times against the Eagles defensively. And they expected that. Vick with McCrary and Dunn behind him. And Fennerin, the receiver to the right. First down, play action by Vic. Loads, throws, intercepted Dawkins at the 30. 25-20, 15, brought down at the 10. 
They measure it to the 11 in the first turnover of the day. Is an Atlanta interception to Brian Dawkins with 2.56 to go quarter three. Dawkins just sitting back there, sitting down, waiting for that pass, sitting in that zone. Well, as a receiver, if you've got a defender that's over the top of you, you're not supposed to continue down the field. You're supposed to flatten. It's a poor decision by Michael to throw this ball in his own end of the field in tight coverage, though. Not sure what your white, I'm not sure of the call either. 2.56 to play. First and 10 for Philadelphia at the Falcon 11 yard line. Freddie Mitchell will come here to the near side with Pinkston. Levens is the eye with Perry. McNabb sends Mitchell through. Now we get markers thrown. That's Philadelphia's penalty. Eagles couldn't come set. McNabb and Mitchell a little quarreling as they come off the line. Somebody miscommunicated All to start, quote Mike Tice. 72, offense, five-yard penalty, well, first down. Trey Thomas, the left tackle. The guilty party, it's first and 15, back of the 16. Every little bit helps here, Gi here guys. Yeah, you want to hold them to a field goal once again. Six penalties for 54 yards for the Birds so far. The Green Birds. Yep, the green, but yeah, you're right, the green birds. First and 15 at the 16, nickel for Atlanta. McNabb with three receivers. Play action to Levins, back underneath. Here is Lewis, he fell down, got back up. Or Smith, beg your pardon, L.J. Smith, and it's ruled incomplete. Wow. So it'll be second down 15. And Patrick Kearney must be all over the field, man. He's playing like a man possessed. He rushes McNabb and comes back and made the tackle on that play. Good hustle. <laughs> they had that play set up. Yeah. They run D'Angelo Hall off from the corner spot. McNabb puts the ball on L.J. Smith, and McNabb had a couple words for L.J. when he dropped this football. Atlanta needs a stop here. Atlanta actually needs to answer the turnover with the turnover, don't they? Single receivers either side. Tight ups, tight end standing up. McNabb pumps, throws, caught. Out of bounds goes Freddie Mitchell at the nine. Stepping out in front of D'Angelo Hall. It'll be a gain of seven, third and eight. Well, you got to watch Smith across the middle. And, Dave, you called it earlier. Lewis is going out the game, so you don't have to worry about him. But you got to watch Smith. It's a big play here. Dorsey Levins has come in on third and eight. Philadelphia is three for seven on third down today. Pinkston will go to the left. Westbrook will line up here to the right. And here is McNabb looking to throw. And he stripped to the football. Brady Smith and McNabb fell on it back at the 17. Oh, shades of Travis Halls and Chuck Smith's combo of Randall Cunningham at the Metrodome almost coming back. Nice speed rush by Brady Smith. Does a great job against a pro bowler. Trey Thomas, slap, rip. Oh, we needed that ball, though. Good job by Brady, though, giving us a chance. Eagles miss on third down, and here's Akers now. This one's 34 yards. He hit earlier in the half from 31. Coy Detmer holds. 17-10 game to make it two possessions. Snap, spot, kick is away, and it is good. Boy, he's pretty good, guys. Two minutes even to go. Third quarter now in Philadelphia. It's the Eagles 20 and the Falcons 10. Our coverage continues of the NFC title game after this. On Comcast Channel 119. Get $400 to ditch the dish. Call 404 Comcast. I don't think anybody's surprised it's low scoring, relatively speaking. Right, Archer? Well, no. I mean, this is two good defenses going head-to-head. -head. I mean, obviously, the conditions make it tough to be real efficient offensively. Eagles, 251 yards of offense. Atlanta, 131. Phillies rush for 120. Atlanta, 93 so far today. Akers to the football with Rossum deep. End over end kick. Allen to his right. He'll play from the four. Heads up the far side. Cuts it back 20, 25, and then brought down by L.J. Smith at the 28-yard line. Now we got a little pushing and shoving. Quentin Michael, an extra shove for Rossum as the play. I think Rossum's complaining. He thought he, got, he thought he had a face mask call on that play. Falcons with the ball at the 28. How big is this possession here? Down 10 now. 
Final 155, a quarter three. Mike has to be smart on these plays now. If it's not there, don't throw it. 20 to 10, Philadelphia. Duckett has come in behind McCrary. In motion is Crumpler. Seven in the box for Philadelphia. Play action by Vic. Kerr stays home. Here's Vic looking. Loops caught McCrary. 34-yard line brought down there. Nice open field tackle by Keith Adams, who has played. Are they calling it incomplete? The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Second down. Oh. Incomplete pass. Well. It would have been a gain of almost nine on the play. Hmm. We don't have the benefit here of a replay in the booth, so we'll have good to go along with them. Jerome McDougal's in at the defensive end spot for Curse. He did a good job of delaying that throw by Vic. Here is Crumpler in motion to the right. Second and ten. Eagles show blitz. Give us the duck at right side. TJ across the 30 to the 32. It'll be third down and six. Hit made by Hollis Thomas. So Duckett carries the ball for the first time in this second half. I'd like to see the Falcons just go come out here, just bow their necks and run it. On next first down, Dave, just run it on first down. Big, they're, they're getting five yards a pop. Yeah, big conversion situation right yeah, here. Yeah, this is huge, man. Atlanta one for six on third down. Picking a shotgun on third and a half dozen. Crowd roars here in Philadelphia. Snap to Michael. Pressure coming from his left. Throws back. Caught open field. Federer. 45 makes a move midfield far side. And out of bounds he goes. Philadelphia 39-yard line shoved out by Michael Lewis. It's a 29-yard throw and catch from Victor Brian Federer. On third down. Real good design this time by the Falcons. They flood the left side of the Eagle defense and sneak Finneran back underneath across the field. Vic lays the ball on him, and Finn does a good job of getting up the field. First down and 10. Atlanta marching now in the final minute of quarter three. Trailing 20 to 10 to Philadelphia. Crumpler in motion to the right. Here's the give. This is Duckett trying to cut back, and he won't get much of anything there. Adams with Darwin Walker making the tackle. It'll be no gain on the play. Second down and 10. That should be the last play of the yep. quarter. I think you're right. I go up the middle. Stop them stretch plays and stop this up the middle. And it will be the final play of quarter three. So we go to the final 15 minutes in Philadelphia. At Lincoln Financial Field, the Eagles trying to go to the Super Bowl for the first time since 1981. Lead Atlanta 20 to 10. Our coverage continues. After this. If you don't think things can change in just 15 minutes, call Geico after the game. And as little as 15 minutes, you can save 15% or more on your auto insurance. Call 1-800-947-AUTO. That's 1-800-947-AUTO. Geico Direct. Atlanta 165 yards of offense. Philadelphia 245. 400 yards total today between the two clubs. 28 first downs, Atlanta with 97 yards of rushing, Philly 117. McNabb's got 128 yards passing, 68 for Michael Vick. The only turnover was cashed in for an Acres field goal. We start quarter four, second and 10 for the Eagles, or for the Falcons at the Eagle 39-yard line. Warwick Dunn's come back in at the running back spot. Price from the near side in motion. Vic play action being pressured. He'll pump and throw incomplete toward Dunn. He got turned over on the play by the blitzing Derek Burgess. Well, they had, to, they had to screen on. Chuck's been calling for the screen up here all day, and they had to screen on. But Michael Lewis does such a good job of getting in Vic's face, he makes him reload it, and he can't get the ball to Warwick Dunn. Had he got it to Dunn, they had a chance to make a play. Third and 10 now at the 39. Atlanta trails by 10 points, 20 to 10, early stages of the final quarter of play. Shotgun for Vic, two to the left, one to the right. Snap to him. Michael will move the pocket. It's a trap. Done. Broke away from the first man and will cut it back to the 38, 37 yard line, brought down again by Burgess. And we get more pushing and shoving after the play is whistled. A lot of trash talking by the Eagles out there. Falcons Dunn. ain't going back down, though. Dunn finally came out of there. Schaefer and Garza. 
We're in there. It is a two-yard gain, roughly to the 37, fourth and eight. Atlanta now two out of eight on third down. Got to hope Big Country can pin him right here with a punt. Now Man. we got a guy running out on the field doing his T.O. impression. Watch this hit. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. The security guy put the old Mike Curtis on him at the 45. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> well, they got free room and board for the night at the Philadelphia jail. And our friends, uh, our friends down the hallway at Fox, I don't know if Joe will refer to that as a disgusting act, but <laughs> they'll take that young man over to the, they have the, uh, they have a jail and judge here, too, like they did at the old vet arch. Well, one thing they didn't take into consideration is what's going to happen to him when he gets out of sight. Because that security <laughs> group gets him inside. There's going to be a few shots. Fourth and eight at the 37. <laughs> Moore to punt from midfield. Win waits at the 10. Moore going to hang it up, boy, and it is deep. It's going to get in the end zone about halfway back. It'll be first and 10 at the 20 for Philadelphia. The net is only 17. Timeout on the field, 13.59 to go. Philadelphia with a 10-point lead, and it goes back into the Falcon defense court when we continue NFC title game at Lincoln Financial Inside Field on 92. To the National Football League, 24 hours a day, then the NFL Network is what you need. Call your cable satellite provider and get the NFL Network West. First and 10 for Philly at the 20. We started out at 17 degrees. Gusty breeze. That breeze has not let up, I might add. It's cold, man. It's blowing. It's picking up. Look at the bags flowing around the stadium. You suspect that we might be a little lower than 17 now, Arch? Oh, yeah, yeah. The wind chills, oh, yeah. The wind chill's below zero right now. Oh, yeah. And, oh, the, yeah. and the Falcons need to put a little below zero job on this offense right here. Westbrook, flank to the right. Pinkston left. McNabb from under center. First and 10. Gave us the Dorsey Levens. And he'll get three, four to the 24. Brady Smith makes a stop. The former Yellow Jacket has run hard up the middle here today for the Eagles. Dorsey Levins, who in his final campaign on the flats in Atlanta, was turned into a 235-pound flanker by the former Tech head coach Bill Lewis. <laughs> Boy, he had some good years in Green Bay. Obviously, he was part of that Super Bowl yep. championship there. Heck of a back. Two to the right. Now Westbrook out of the backfield here to the left. McNabb from under center on second and six. Philly to throw. Look back. Throws it over the top of Westbrook incomplete. That one sailed a little bit on the Chicago native McNabb. Isolating Christian Morton. They found the, the, the guy that they're yeah. going to try to go after. Well, and Fort you Dallas. see how, yeah. how good Westbrook is out in space. That was as good a slant route versus press coverage. You'll see he ran he ran Morton up the field and cut back to the inside. And, McNabb been on the money with that. We may still be talking about Westbrook running. Got to watch McNabb's legs here. I'm telling you. Greg, time. Greg Lewis and Mitchell, along with L.J. Smith, kind of clustered to the right. Pinkston, the only receiver to the left. They're going to reverse it. Wide field here to the near side with Lewis. Cutting back upfield, and he'll have the first down to the 34. Brian Scott makes the tackle on Greg Lewis, the wide receiver on the reverse back underneath. It's a pickup of right at 10 yards and a first down. Yeah, good design there. Andy Reid made it look like the toss was going to the wide side to Westbrook, and Lewis intercepts the pitch and comes back with Donovan McNabb leading the blocking. Heck of a call right there. Yep. Brad Childress and Andy Reid can draw them up, can't they? First and 10 at the 34 of Philadelphia. All right, uh, Philadelphia, the Eagles with a 10-point lead. 12-35 to play in the NFC title game. McNabb, first down give. This is Westbrook across the 35 to the 38. About four. It'll be second down and six. Ed Jasper makes the stop. Well, I'm not sure when the when the clock watch began for these Philadelphia Eagle fans, but they're certainly staring at it right now. Yep. Yeah, because in the last three years, well, the last two especially, but the last two years, this is when the funny stuff starts happening, doesn't it? Yes, it, yes, it has. <laughs> we need, we need some of, bouncing the other team's We hands. need some funny stuff. Yep. <laughs> Falcons need an order of the funny stuff here if they can get it. Westbrook right, Pinkston left. Second and six. Play action, McNabb. Pumps, looks back here for Pinkston. Now we will shoot it across the middle. Off the pads of the intended receiver, Dorsey Levens, with Keith Brooking defending and almost bound away into a Falcon interception. 
nice, nice cover to Dave on that play. The defensive line didn't give him much help on that play. The secondary just did an excellent job staying tight. Good job by Brookie. Yeah, he, won. he had a hitch and go versus the rookie quarter, D'Angelo Hall, and D'Angelo stayed right where he was supposed to be and ate it up. Yep. Third and six now at the Eagle 38. Philadelphia four for nine on third down. Westbrook the setback. In motion, Mitchell. Here's McNabb looking to throw. Incomplete. Out there in the middle of a gap between Lewis and L.J. Smith and just kind of threw it to a spot incomplete. Six plays and a punt now for Philadelphia. Well, Donovan, Donovan threw two balls there. could have been picked off. So yes, I'm sir. a little surprised that he's not taking better care of the football. Falcons got this shot. They're getting the ball. Rossum with Finneran kind of playing 15 yards up. Waits on the punt of Johnson who hangs it high to the far side. Allen from the 21. Looking back up the field, 25, and tackled on the way out of bounds into the Atlanta bench at the 29. That was a heck of a punt. Yep, good job by Johnson to hang it up. 39-yard punt, 10-yard return, timeout on the field. 11.29 to go, final period of play. The Eagles 20, the Falcons 10. Coverage continues more after this. names at lower prices every day, as well as more knowledgeable people to make sure you get the right part the first time. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts at better prices every day. Well, the crowd's rolling because T.O. down in the bench area started dancing, and they got it up on the video board, and once they realized it was 81, who released a statement today saying if they play next or two weeks from now, he'll be ready to go. First and 10 for Atlanta at its 30, down 10. Vic from under center. First down look out in the flat, caught done. He'll turn it upfield. Adams angles him out of bounds into the Falcon bench at the 33. It'll be second and seven. Clock stops with 11.23 to play. Second down and seven from there. Well, I've really been impressed with the speed of the two outside linebackers, Dehani Jones and Keith Adams. Their ability to run, limit plays to the outside. Measured it for four yards. Second and six at the 34. Price left, White to the right. Vic keeps it on the bootleg. They stayed home and make the play Burgess. Oh, what a good play by Derek Burgess. He's had a fine game for Philadelphia. Tackle made back in the 29, loss of five, third and 11. Looked like they picked a good time to run it, Dave, and they got to Vic for the fourth time today. Well, Burgess does what he's supposed to do. You gotta limit the big play the big play would be allowing Vic to get to the edge. Very disciplined staying at home. Third and 11 now at the 29. Got to watch the time clock here. 12 and 11 counting, West. Yep. Falcons will have to hurry. Seven to snap it. Vic in a shotgun. They'll get the play snapped. Michael in the pocket. Looks, throws in and out of the hands of Price, defended by Lito Shepard. Hard to tell from our angle if Shepard got a hand in there or Price just couldn't hang on for what would have been a first down near the Falcon 45. Well, this one's on Peerless Price, fellas. you got to work your way back to the football. Mike throws a deep curl route. The ball's in the air a long time. He's got to continue to work back to the football. Lito Shepard does work back and knocks it down. Chris Moore's only averaged 24 punts on four tries today, but most of them have come into that win sailing in from the north. This one with the winds, a low liner. It'll hit, kick around to the 38. Coming here to the near side and being tackled is Reno Mahe, the former BYU Cougar, and he is brought down at the 35 by Matt Stewart. There's a Falcon down on the play at the 40-yard line, and it's Brian Federer. Timeout on the field, 10-14 to play. Time is running out. The Falcons are down. Ten points. Our coverage continues so after this. Call of the game, the new singular, raising the ball. First and ten. Philadelphia will have the ball, and it's 35 when play resumes. The crowd of better than 67,000 is so keyed up that the Eagle offense is asking for them to back it down a notch if they can. Philly 20, Atlanta 10 with 10-14 to play in the final period. McNabb, single receiver to either side, and I behind him. 
Reverse, and here's Westbrook coming near side. Brady Smith slows him down, and then Brian Scott, Chad Lavalle make the tackle at the 37. Well, good job by Brady Smith staying home, taking care of his responsibility, and that's what the backside end is supposed to do. Well, it's got to be three and out. Atlanta just went three and out, by the way, for the second time today. They've also had a turnover for a short possession, but Falcons need a turnover and a quick score to create any kind of heat going down the stretch here, Arch. I think they've got to begin to gamble a little bit on defense. They've got to come with more pressure and play more bump and run coverage. Second and eight at the 37. Mitchell in motion to the right. Here's McNabb, play action, rolling back, being chased by Brady Smith. He'll tuck it and run. Pumps, and out of bounds he goes at the 43-yard line, two yards shy of a first down. It'll be third down and two. We've seen Donovan McNabb do it a handful of times today, and generally it's been very effective. Well, we had a five-man line that time. Put Keith Brooking on the right side. Brady Smith cannot lose contain on this. You're the last hope at the end. Can't lose contain, but he did. Third and two for Philadelphia. Large play in the game here, gentlemen. McNabb with 30 yards rushing. He'll look to throw on third and short. Back across the middle. That is caught. Catch made by Chad Lewis, the tight end at the Atlanta 45. It's a gain of 12 and a first down for Philadelphia. They're now 5 of 11 on third down today. I think you got to start talking about how well the offensive line for Philadelphia stepped up today. McNabb has made some people miss today, but he, for the large part of the game, he has been uncontested back there. And this is another one. A lot of time to wait for Lewis to uncover in the middle and get him the football. First down and 10. Ball at the 45 of Atlanta. Philadelphia leading 20 to 10. 8-22 and counting in the ball game here at Lincoln Financial Field. McNabb hands to Westbrook, trying to get to the right side. Kearney slowed him down and then draft him. Brian Scott take him to the turf. At the 44, it'll be a gain of one. I bet you, like you said earlier, Dave, I, we're, we're easily in the double digits and missed tackles. Falcons, usually a short tackling team, have looked today, look real sloppy trying to take down Westbrook and McNabb. Westbrook, for a little guy, is an elusive number, isn't he? It's a lot like Ward Dunn. Yep, really is. Lynn Pascarelli of ESPN.com hit it on the head this week when he said it was a ball game of small package running backs with big results. Second and nine. Here's McNabb, hit as he throws, and incomplete, and a marker is going to be thrown in from behind the play. Pass intended for Lewis, the tight end. Draft was there in coverage for Atlanta. Tell you what, this is an awfully Pass difficult the call to make. 54, defense, put them around the waist, automatic first down. Spot of the foul. They say draft hooked uh, him on the waist. I'd have to see this. That's the problem. See, this is a guy making the call that's making the call from behind the play. Now, I think I think draft interferes with him. Right. But the guy didn't see the call because he doesn't have him hooked anywhere around the waist. Right. I think it was an interference call. First and 10 at the 40. Time is becoming the biggest enemy of the Falcons. Yep. 7.33 to play in the game. One turnover. Vicks interception cast in for a field goal. Philly got an early start, might get away with it. Here's McNabb looking deep, throws back across. That is caught. Greg Lewis, another catch, taken out of bounds at the Falcon 20 by D'Angelo Hall. Too much time back there. Too much time. They're max protecting, but somebody's got to pop through. Eagles offensive line have taken control of this game. 20 yard throw and catch to Greg Lewis. Interesting now, without Owens here in the last, what, month or so. Donovan McNabb has gone back and learned to redistribute the football. And really, the beneficiary more than most, I think, outside of Freddie Mitchell, is this young Greg Lewis, David. He really has. He stepped up, and they talked about how these young receivers had to get up because of T.O.'s injury, and they've done that. Nine receptions in the last five games of the regular season of his 17 total. Westbrook on first down, tries the right side, and gets snowed under by Lavallee. Yard for Westbrook, second and nine, but now... As Chuck said, a moment ago with 6.46 to play. It's second down and nine. Atlanta can ill afford to surrender a touchdown and would prefer not to surrender anything. Well, I see the Eagles still throwing the ball here. Falcons can't get complacent because I'm telling you, the Eagles smell blood. 
Now Donovan's doing a good job yeah. of working the clock. The offensive line's doing a good job of keeping him protected. Lewis had two catches, 64 yards against Minnesota last week. He's got two for 65 today. Second and nine at the 19. Westbrook this time left side. 15-yard line dumped over at the 14. Coming up, Aaron Beasley to make the stop. After a five-yard gain, it'll be third and four. No marker on the play, but I'm with you, Chuck. That looked like a hold at the edge. Brady Smith had his wraps around him. They missed that. You know how it is, though. These refs, they looking at that clock, too. Late in the game now, we go under six minutes to play. Well, this is about the spot two years ago where Rondé Barber with Tampa Bay leading 20 to 10 intercepted one and took it back to the house. This is That's the kind of play the Falcons need right here. Pinkston and Mitchell go to the left. L.J. Smith, or Pinkston and Mitchell to the right. L.J. Smith now Westbrook to the left. McNabb in his shotgun. He's going to tuck and run. It's a call draw inside the 10. First and goal, Philadelphia at the 8. Tackle made by Jasper. Falcons in trouble now, guys. Philadelphia is 50% on third down. That's 6 out of 12. Listen to these fans. Oh, they can feel it now. Well, what an impressive drive yep. by the Philadelphia Eagles to run this clock down, move the football. Only two passes, but they made both of them count, didn't they? Pass interference on the one call and then 20 yards to Greg Lewis. McNabb from under center. In the backfield, Westbrook. Cuts back inside. He'll get to about the seven, maybe the six. Draft and Brooking combine on the stop of Brian Westbrook. Good job by Ed Jasper just trying to create any kind of havoc. Maybe they mess up, fumble the ball, make a mistake. But uh, right now, Donovan McNabb is probably having his greatest day as a quarterback. 200 yards total offense for McNabb. Second and goal, ball resting at the seven. Philadelphia 20, Atlanta 10. We work toward four minutes to play in the ball game. Westbrook and Pinkston to the far side. Perry and Mitchell here to the left. McNabb rolls right, throws. That's caught. Westbrook taken down at the two. D'Angelo Hall over there to lead the play for Atlanta with Chris Draft. So now it's third and goal. You got to watch Donovan McNabb on this last play, giving him the, the run option read here, Dave. I think that's what they might give him. They're bringing Chad Lewis in the game with Mike Bartram, their third tight end, leaving Westbrook and Josh Perry for the backfield, allegedly. Smith and Chad Lewis to the right, Bartram to the left. Perry in motion. Here's McNabb, play action. Looks right, throws back. That is caught. Chad Lewis. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And it is 26 to 10 with 321 to play in Philadelphia. Well, it's a simple play. You, you fake the counter play. Tight end Chad Lewis and LJ Smith are his number one targets down by the goal line. Brian Scott loses Chad Lewis, and Lewis slips in the back corner of the end zone for another McNabb touchdown pass. McNabb's second score of the day. Both have come to Lewis. Covering five total yards. This one was two yards on third and goal. Timeout, Philadelphia. That's the team's first charge timeout. Philadelphia will take a timeout here. Up 16 points. They only had 10 guys on the field. We'll take it with them. The Eagles lead 26-10. Coverage continues after the this. Game. Philadelphia 26, Atlanta 10. The Eagles were a man short for the point after, so they burned a timeout. Chad Lewis's second touchdown catch of the day. Both of McNabb's touchdown passes have gone to Lewis. Tell you what, both Lewis's have been a factor. Chad and Greg. Here's the point after from Akers. It's away and good. So 321 to play. And the Eagles now lead by 17 points at 27 to 10. Philadelphia now 7 of 13 on third down. The Eagles at the half, Dave, were two out of four. 
So they are five for nine here in the second half on third down. Well, they did a good job, Wes, of staying in good manageable situations. I didn't, I can't remember a third and 10 situation. It seemed like they, they ran the football a little bit effectively. Westbrook's been a major fan. Everybody thought Westbrook would be the guy. 135 yards of total offense today. He's been a factor. Well, and now this house of better than 67,000 can sense that they are closing in on Alltel Stadium in Jacksonville in two weeks for Super Bowl 39. And they've been waiting a long time to close in on another Super Bowl. Well, the best thing about that is we won't have anybody hanging from the Walt Whitman Bridge tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Akers will kick it away. Rossum flanked by D'Angelo Hall and Michael Jenkins deep. Falcons down 17. Here's the kick. High end over end kick to the far side. Rossum at the five. 10. He'll loop it back. Here's D'Angelo with blockers. 20, and Hall will get to the 25. And with 3.12 to play, that's where Atlanta goes to work. Down 17 at 27 to 10. So Jim Mora and his rookie season as the Atlanta head coach, already the winning his first year coach in Falcon history with 12 victories, trying to go find some magic. Vick in a shotgun, snap to him. Michael up in the pocket, being pressured. He'll throw it out in the flat, incomplete. Sheldon Brown, the closest defender there on a the ball, thrown toward Algie Crumpler here on the near side, second and 10. Well, it's one of the areas that the Falcons have struggled a little bit in all year long when they've been forced to throw the football down the field and Michael's got to stay in the pocket. Been a little soft on the edge. The, the tackles have been able, they push the tackles back into Vic. That'll be an area, obviously, Rich McKay and his staff will look at as they begin to, if they start to evaluate this team next year. Derek Burgess has really had a fine game off the end spot. A lot of talk about Curse, but Burgess has held up his end of the deal today. Second and 10. Here's Vic looking to throw again. Quick hitter Jenkins off his hands, incomplete. And a big hit by Sheldon Brown on the rookie from Ohio State. Uh, one thing Philadelphia has done all day long. For the most part, they've out-executed the Falcons. Right. When, when the plays have been there to make, whether it be an interception, a knock the ball down, or a big hit, the Eagles have outdone that over the Falcons. So it's now third and 10 at the 25. 3-0-1 to play in the ball game. Price through the formation in motion to the left. Vic sets, loops it, that is caught off a knee, and that is Peerless Price, or Des White, beg your pardon, taken out of bounds at the 33-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight. And let's see, they mark it. I wanted to say 33, 32 and a half. It's fourth and a long two. Atlanta has no choice here, of course, but to go for it. They've converted a fourth down already today. White was injured on the play. And Fred McCrary has gone into the ball game at the fullback spot here on fourth and two, almost three. Vic fakes, looks, throws, caught Price. First down, Philadelphia 46-yard line. Hustle up there. Here come the Falcons. Mike's got to get on his horse. He's, not, he's walking up the field. Get him in the line of scrimmage. Clock moving, 233 to play. Ball at the Eagle 45-yard line. It was a 22-yard throw to Peerless Price. Win whipping around. Vic under center on first and 10. 219 to play. Falcons down 17. Michael looks, pumps. Is that going to be ruled a fumble? Incomplete pass. Boy, you hesitated for a moment there, and then Bill Carolla stepped in from behind to signal incomplete pass. Algie Crumper fell on it just in case. 
second and ten. Ball at the Eagle 45. Clock stops with 2.12 to play. Well, chances of winning this foot game, ball game are really slim, but you still play it to the wire. Yep. You play it end to end, you play to the wire, and I don't see the sense of urgency in the Falcon team. Vick in a shotgun. Here's Michael. Steps back. Now we'll throw down the field. Jenkins there, batted away incomplete. Brian Dawkins there in coverage. He thought he was interfered with. That's a great play by Michael Jenkins. Vic throws the ball down the field. Instead of throwing it high to his big 6'4 wide receiver, he throws it on a line right at Brian Dawkins. And Jenkins climbs over the back of Dawkins to break up the interception. Steve Freeman, the back judge, got all sorts of recommendations from Brian Dawkins after that. <laughs> I mean, all sorts of recommendations. Dawkins may want this trip to the Super Bowl a little more than most since he's from Jacksonville. 2.03 to play. Third down and 10 at the Eagle 45. Falcons trail 27 to 10. And we get whistles blowing and markers thrown. And I think it'll be. Delay a game, offense, five yard penalty, third down. Third and 15, and we're at 2.03 to play. Now back it up to midfield. Michael Vick today. Under 50% passing. Eagles done a good job on him, Wes. They, they didn't allow him to run around too much. He created a couple things running with the football. I thought he was a little hesitant early in the game to take off. But the credit to the Eagles, they did a good job of defending Michael Vick. 129 yards on 10 of 22. Vick sets, looks, pumps, now will move left. Looks again, loads, throws, thrown underneath to Algie Crumpler. It is caught at the 44-yard line of Philadelphia. It will be fourth down and nine. Roderick Hood made the stop on a six-yard game. And again, Atlanta will look to convert fourth down, but the two-minute warning, 153 to play in the game. Philadelphia closing in on Super Bowl 39 in our coverage from the city of Brotherly Love. flagship Lawson. station of Atlanta Falcons football. WCGC Atlanta 92.9 Dave FM. Rock without rules. 27 to 10 Philadelphia with 153 to play. Atlanta's got fourth and nine at Philadelphia's 44-yard line with David Archer, Chuck Smith, our entire crew. West Durham at Lincoln Financial Field. Or really, the Falcons are down to their last swing here. Got to pick up fourth and nine, and they still got a road to hoe even if that happens. Vick with an eye behind him. Crumpler in motion. Play action. Michael steps up, throws, overshoots. Crumpler incomplete. Ball looked like it sailed on him a little bit in the wind too, Dave. He's running up in the pocket to try to throw it down the field. and. It's been a tremendous season for this football team and just a tough note to end on. Yep. 147 left to play. Atlanta has three timeouts. Philadelphia two. And the Eagles are not done yet. They'll have to run some plays here with three timeouts in the Falcon pocket. Well, I'll be interested to see how Coach Mora plays this. This may be a deal where he doesn't burn the timeouts. Chuck Smith will join us after the ball game from the Falcon locker room. I think he's already made his way to that chilly Atlanta sideline where the wind continues to pick up. Chuck, I would say that you might, I don't know if you had Number a look at it or not, but reporting to an eligible Dave was talking about Vic's last pass. I thought it might have sailed him a little bit. He was stepping up in the pocket, throwing on the run, and looking for Crumper, it looked like. Yeah, Dave was exactly right. It sailed on him a little bit. You're exactly right. He lost control of it. 147 left, and the Eagles are going to go victory formation here. And there's a touch of the knee. And Arch, as you alluded, I think Jim Moore is going to pocket these timeouts. I think Jimmy realizes it's uh, fight another day. Tremendous effort by the Philadelphia Eagles today. To answer the call of their fans in their fourth try in the NFC Championship game. Well, and for 46-year-old Andy Reid, 
with 71 wins now, the most wins and highest winning percentage of any coach in Eagle history. He has got a complete sense of accomplishment now about the work he's been able to do here, I believe. Touch of the knee by McNabb with a minute five left. Well, for the Eagles, the guys that had to step up did. Brian Westbrook was huge. Donovan McNabb was monstrous. We knew the pressure. It talked all week long how much pressure was on number five. Donovan McNabb stepped up big time today. Yep. And the defense did what they needed to do. They did enough. Took Michael Vick away. Warwick Dunn played extremely well. Crumpler played extremely well today, but they did take Michael Vick out of his game. And this very well could be the final play of the game. McNabb will touch an E, and that does it. Philadelphia is going to the Super Bowl to meet either the Patriots or Steelers. Two weeks from tonight at Altel Stadium in Jacksonville. So after a 24-year wait, the Eagles are going back to the Super Bowl. In 1981, in late January, they were defeated by Tom Flores, Jim Plunkett, Rod Martin, Kenny King, and Cliff Branch. Now they go back and get either Ben Roethlisberger, Jerome Bettis, Plaxico Burris, Hines Plaxico Ward. Burris or Hines Ward, or maybe they'll go for Teddy Bruschi, Rodney Harrison, Troy Brown, Tom Brady, and the loquacious Corey Dillon. <laughs> Jim Mora's first season in Atlanta, despite the loss today, David, is a rousing success. Yeah, I agree with you totally, and Jim will tell you it's not a success unless you win the last game of the year, and that would be the Super Bowl. But Falcon fans, be proud of this football team, and this will be a team that will come back and win next year. Well, the Falcons and Eagles are going to meet in the regular season next year at the Georgia Dome in Atlanta. And won't that be an interesting evening of football? Get a chance to see some pretty good teams come into the Dome next year. You bet. Stay tuned. We'll find the comments and more. Granger guys that got it done. 27 to 10. Philadelphia beats Atlanta to capture the NFC crown. And our coverage continues after this on 92.9.